Report says nursing home plagued by sexual, physical, and verbal abuse. Where's that story, by the way? we got to do that so? one today. <laughs> yeah, I read about that. You live your life, and you just want to... You just want it to end with some kind of dignity. Dignity. Just a There's little no bit. There's no time for dignity in this world. Just a little bit of dignity. Enough. You did things. You you were young ones. You ever look at old people on the news and try to picture what they looked like when they were, you know, young? Because you know, like, old Gertie is like 85 years old, shitting herself in the old age home. She was once full of life, fucking, had a gig, you know, had a job. Welcoming the Doughboys home. A couple of years ago, I had to spend a lot of time in a nurse, nurse, uh, nursing home. Excuse me. Yeah, unfortunately. Get some and uh, the Do people, some of that fucking the people that uh, the people that work there are just people that <laughs> have no other options. They're miserable. They don't want to be there. No they one wants be, to help. They want. They don't want to be taking care of old people or or people that uh, need the services of the nursing home. It's a job. It's really sad. You see. You see these uh, older people getting treated badly. I'm sure there's some out there that are doing a fine job and they really care and do the job right. But there's also a lot of people just just should not be working uh, around old people. Some fat bearded male nurse. That's the last thing you see is him with a pillow leaning in and he's whispering, it's all going to be okay soon. It's okay. I'm the angel of death. <laughs> yes, you are. You live through homo. You live through Korea, Vietnam, your kids growing up and you're killed by a fat homoerotic man in oh. white shoes. That's the whole thing, like, uh, when you, you see some of these war heroes, and they are they have Alzheimer's, they're in the home, they're on their little rascals or something, and just, like, uh, I, could I get changed here, please? Change me. Or they're just yelling. I, I had to do a job once in a, an old age home when I was in construction, and uh, doing a renovation, and you just hear from the other side, help! <laughs> help! Help! And, and the, the, one of the workers there just going, oh, Mr. Anderson, please, please keep quiet. There are people here trying to do things. Because he just yells help for nothing. Like all of a sudden he's on Iwo Jima. Help! He's pinned down by the Japs like, all over again. And the poor guy, he's been through all that, and how is it going to end? Not with machine gun fire, with a zero coming at him, strafing him on the beach. Him and his buddies trying to knock down one more. So it's a little easier for the next bunch of boys that come over. No, it ends with a lump of shit in his fucking drawers. And that last breath, not knowing where the fuck he is. Welcome to life. And a guy who looks like Yafet Koto turning him on his stomach and raping him and choking him simultaneously. <laughs> oh, God. How did this happen? <laughs> Oh. His old man Johnny's are pulled down to his ankles. Oh, God. He remembers his buddies he lost in the Great War. They're all young, full of energy. Viral. Viral. Died much too young. But at the, head and the, at the hands of the Huns. They died in glory. Right, in glory as heroes. Pictures of them, all they'll ever be, are pictures of them as, as young men. And there he is. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> a black thigh on either, either side of his ass cheeks and intense physical pain that he's never experienced and a lot of old man confusion. Oh, <laughs> big, there's a guy over him giving him some other guy the rules on how to fuck him. Yeah. All right. You can yeah. fuck him in the ass, but no coming in his ass. Yeah. When yeah. He, his family comes on Tuesday, so don't ever fuck him Monday night <laughs> because he complains. Yeah. I, last time that comb dripped out of his ass oh, and his, 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 his son found it and almost got in Trouble. We barely got. We barely explained yeah. it away. <laughs> Throws him a rusty can of Vaseline. <laughs> yeah. The old uh, man can't communicate. All he can yell is Bill. help. Help. <laughs> that Kill Bill scene is great, man. The when the guy's describing how oh. to fuck her. All right, I'll give you a little time. <laughs> Oh, that's the best. Here's the story, by the way. Horror show at old folks' home. Horror show. Staten Island's uh, eager, 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 probably <laughs> eager nursing home is a horror of sexual, physical, and uh, verbal abuse for patients. And top administrator, uh, administrators never told authorities what was happening. A bombshell state report charged yesterday. The report cites at least 28 incidents. And one patient abusing other residents on the fourth floor dementia unit. The dementia <laughs> unit. 
<laughs> now there's a party. The dementia unit. <laughs> One patient. Incidents that were never investigated or reported to the state health department. I'm being fucked in the ass. Sure you are. <laughs> no, we're just taking your temperature, ma'am. There's one go-getter patient that had sense enough to know, I got to pull this off in the dementia ward because they won't believe one of these old kooks. Well, they would only get half the story right. He raped me, and then he turned into a bat and flew away. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Thanks for nothing. If they can only stick to the story. He put his penis in my mouth. Then the mothership came. <laughs> did it. Who blackened your eye, ma'am? Batman! Did. It was Batman, <laughs> but he was a Negro. <laughs> All right, I'm sure he was. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. higher, swallow this pill. <laughs> higher ups in the privately owned institution covered up the incidents, uh, claiming they were typical of dementia patients, <laughs> eh? not abuses. All right, let's uh, Man. let's go to uh, Mike in Arizona. Mike, what's going on? Hey, damn Mike. What do you say, hey, Bill? I've I, I never gagged listening to your show until right now. You guys are freaks. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 I'm sorry. Little tets off to you, man, and just gagging. The last line of the article is the inaction by the Holmes officials violated oh seven health regulations. The report health said regula you just know seven. I One patient it. abusing other residents of the fourth floor dementia unit. So this one patient figures this is perfect. All right. punch some, just walk up and punch someone as hard as you can right in the face with impunity. And it always occurred after Yankee losses. <laughs> so, so hey, he, Jeter strikes out, he just takes out his frustration <laughs> on the old on the old folks, or as he called them, punching bags one for twenty. <laughs> punch them in the face, and if they if they go, can I, is it Jello time? And then you fuck them in the ass. <laughs> Jesus, uh, Jeremy in Missouri, what's up? Hey, I used to be. Uh, uh, a, a caregiver, I guess, is what they call them these days. No, you were a male nurse. Yeah, failed nurse. <laughs> caregiver. Oh, uh, Care male yeah, nurse. You can make it sound Proper. as cool as you want, but you yeah. were a male yeah. nurse. You're an asshole wiper. Go put your white shoes on, you clogs. <laughs> it's, not, it's not shit, it's just mud. Just think of it as mud. Uh, um, what do you think about no. when you're ragging down an old lady in a shower? Yeah. Uh, but... Skin's hanging off her like a doily. <laughs> oh my God! I have told my wife so many times. We got the fuck now while we're young because I know what it's going to look like now, years from now. Yeah, you know it's going to be like a Sharpay pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It's, it's like a hush puppy with water dripping off. Of it. Yeah. yeah. But hey man, I got to tell you, it was horribly, horribly frustrating. Uh, I took care of Alzheimer's patients. These people would come up. Think you were their worst enemy, smack at you, call you names, throw food at you. We had one little lady on the unit used to I literally throw shit like a monkey. Great. <laughs> you walk into a room, that hi Agnes, how are you? Fly on the door because how do you you're not want to punch him? How do you not want to just punch them in the face? I would have planted my foot right in Agnes's twat. <laughs> kind of oh, straighten old Agnes right out. Maybe I, I shouldn't heard. throw shit because what I do, I get a nurse shoe in my <laughs> pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Even someone we, uh, with dementia and might figure that out. <laughs> we had a bunch of uh, walnuts disappear. Is that what you? Oh, I thought you the called them <laughs> some of the the patients. Those are the ones that were shy. Those are those are shy uh, <laughs> shy mental patients. They just stand there <laughs> yeah. facing the wall. Hey, look at the walnuts. Gather up all the walnuts and get them to bed. Uh, they were wallflowers in high school. <laughs> and they grow well, Anthony, walnuts. this one's for you. Oh, they yes. disappeared from the. Uh, uh, arts and crafts room, little walnut shells, you know, they decorate them, put little eyeballs on them, little and crap. Well, about a week later, I was putting this woman's toothbrush up when we were getting ready to put her to bed, and there's a bunch of whole walnuts in her drawer. And we're like, well, we, we find food in the rooms, so we got to throw it away. Right. So I, I opened up a trash bag that I had in my in my uh, little scrubs pocket scrubs. and uh, up into the drawer. Just started pouring these things into the into the trash bag. Well, as they hit the floor through the bottom of the trash bag, they crack open chocolate centers. But this was the same woman that used to throw her shit. They were literally packed with shit. How did she, she put them back together? Was she stored oh, them she, in her asshole like a squirrel. No. <laughs> so they were two halves, and she put shit in them and then closed them up. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Creative. The to keep All right. Safe. We're done with this guy. What did you do after you killed her? <laughs> Even the family can't get mad at you. All Look, right. I love my parents, but if either one of you ever packs a walnut with your feces, I'm yeah. hiring someone to kill you. You're not my parents. You're by the, burdens. By the way, Eric is not happy. Eric, 
Oh, no. Hey, what's going on, guys? What Man, do you say, Eric? Somebody. Thanks for calling. Let it out. Let it out, Eric. Let it out. Let's go. What the fuck are you guys thinking, man? I mean, come on. Like like with the war vets. I mean, these guys served our country. Yep. You know, fought tyranny, and they can't help the way they are. I mean, come on. I Amen. Mean, this is don't you think that's my point? I'm saying it's a it's a goddamn shame that these guys uh, did what they did and then had to go out like that. But you're saying, Eric, they shouldn't be poked fun out like that. No, not really. I mean, what Shut are you up. guys going to do when you get that age? Absolutely. Be fucked by male nurses. That's right, hopefully, if we're attractive enough. Anthony and I made a pact uh, a long time ago that we're going to take each other out. You guys are fucked. Opie will be gone. Hey, Rock. This, that guy Iraq. Was, he just hung up. And they oh, won't good. know what they won't know what Opie's talking about. Iraq. People people yelling for people. People don't like it when we give them like a taste of reality. No. I mean that's exactly what happens. You like to think uh, you're gonna die, you know, Eric romantically or yep. whatever. But no, it's gonna be something horrific, unfortunately. Look, Eric, we didn't look. Here's the thing. No uh, one Eric gets called. No one gets the uh, yeah. the cancer music as you're l lying in an open bed overlooking you know, the ocean in Hawaii as you as you take your last breath. Oh, what was that? Um, ER. ER. We all never wish, watched it. We all wish we uh, were no, goose. It's, it's, we could go out that goose, way. Goose from Top Gun was sitting there. Yeah. yeah which way do you think uh, he wanted to go out? Hitting the canopy that didn't eject right, or sitting there with cancer on the on the beach in Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, this, the, this is like the cancer. Song. Israel, this guy's name is Israel. So big fat Hawaiian guy is dead. You kidding? How did it happen? Good tune, right? <coughs> this guy's dead. Yeah. Did they He's play this? dead. Did they play this at his funeral? No, his health wasn't allowed. <laughs> Cut the shit, Sonny. Was he like a big Samoan or something? I think he was a big fella. It sounds like uh, a fat ghost. I... <laughs> <laughs> Stupid song. <laughs> a fat ghost. <laughs> you can hear him breathing. Listen. We Listen, uh, oh, you missed the beginning of the word. This one's for Gabby. He dedicated to someone. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. Other stuff. James in New out. Hampshire. James. I want that guy, Eric, to call back, dude, because you made you actually did make a good point. Did you guys see the veterans' uh, makeup uh, video? Life goes on. Thank you. Uh, what? The, the homeless guy vet getting his makeover? No. Oh, Oh, wow. I heard about it. I went didn't see fucking it. Fucking viral. But I'm thinking the whole time, he's... <sighs> Just because you make him look really good, he's got to still be kind of damaged, fucking, right? Yeah, yeah. maybe. So I hope he's like doing other things besides getting his hair cut and, and a nice shave and get new little, clothes on him. Exactly. A little metal help. You are a metal case. That looks like Tippy Tom a lot. Yeah, they, it's that homeless Jim thing. Jim Wolf, they got. United States Army veteran. For decades, Jim has struggled with poverty, homelessness, and alcoholism. Yeah, I would say alcoholism should be first. Yeah. yeah. In September 2013, he volunteered to go through this physical transformation. A new hat. <laughs> a woman. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gave him a new hat and a cunt. <laughs> What's that? Some hot blonde trying not to vomit at the odor. Yeah, yeah. He's, uh... Wow, she's giving him hair. a hairdo. His cutting clothes his... aren't even that bad. No. Those aren't homeless guy clothes. No. Oh, great. She, he looks like the guy from ABBA now. <laughs> 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 Fucking beard. Well, she's just getting started. There wow. Goes. The girl just combing his hair and making him look better. It's taking forever. Oh, there we yeah, go. exactly. Oh, little... Meanwhile, they don't show his liver, which is ex exactly the same. <laughs> and the inside of his underpants, which still have <laughs> shit in them. <laughs> wow. You mean you shave a guy who now looks like oh. William H. Macy and he looks better? He does look like... Oh, look at that. What that a miracle. Great. This thing went oh, a little uber viral. It's all over the yeah, fucking place. Yeah. You can already see. He's uh, looking a little looking better. Looking way there. better, exactly. right? Exactly. And you get new clothes, of course. Oh, they're, oh, they're, that, they're, they're putting the tinfoil in his hair. Yeah, I like the fact that she's got gloves on. What's the tinfoil for? Well, they're uh, really... dyeing his hair. They're putting in some highlights, I bet. That's good. So just make pretend that he's not in the shape he's in. And make pretend. Right. What nonsense. Look at that. Oh. He's like, good, foil on my head. It keeps the fucking radio waves out of my brain. <laughs> Wait, is he, is he unshaven again? What the fuck? They left him with like a razor a stubble. stubble. Oh, maybe he has bad skin. Why? Oh, oh there he goes. He's they darkened his hair, it looks like. Oh, it's yeah. like, uh... Yeah, now they're... they're... She's moving really right. Why is this going oh, so fast? A suit. Bring a nice suit on. Oh, yeah. Nice tie. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. It's... 
Now he's fixed, everyone. There he goes. Sees himself for the first time. Now he's like, oh my god, I look like those assholes I hit onto the head with a cinder block. He's <laughs> <laughs> still fucked up. Oh yeah, he's gotta go get exactly. some dentistry still done. Shit. Now he's like shitting into the nice pantsuit. Oh, so he's geez. hugging his son there. Oh. Since filming, Jim has taken control of his yeah, life. Oh, took with a new hairdo. Yeah. He is now scheduled to have his own housing and is attending Alcoholics Anonymous meetings cool. for the first time ever. Break his anonymity, you cunt website. <laughs> How about yeah. respecting the traditions? And say 12 step program, right? What? Uh, well, the DeGage Ministries puts that out. 10 huh? million. All right, well, good. That's for him. a lot of fucking uh, it views. Went, it went nuts. Good this luck video. to you, James. So. That's cool. How about getting inside and figuring out why he had the problem he did? Nah, put a new suit on. Was it 1940? That's the solution? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a nice haircut and a shave is all he needs. You need a haircut and a shave. Boy, if that's not fucking America <laughs> summed up. And a good stuff. stiff drink. Now you get the hell out there yeah. and get a job. Make something yourself. <laughs> Make something yeah, yourself. See, the problem is I saw 12 of my right. friends' heads explode right. on Normandy. Yeah. Ah, get over it. And I hear voices. Are yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. Help me with that one, too. That's the country, though, in the fucking nutshell. Yeah, yeah, just clean it up, make it look a little better, send it right out. There you go. Ball done. Good. Right, right. Pretend it is one way, even though it's another. It is better to look good than to feel good. That was the uh, the old gag. So true in this country. Mm -hmm. They'd rather just have you in an attractive little shell, mm -hmm. uh, no matter what's rotting on the inside. You got to sometimes just take something and make part of your life funny. And you put it into song. Yeah. Right? You're going to try that someday, Chip? <laughs> I don't have the whole song. I just got, like, the part that will be funny to reveal. Uh, all right. Let's hear it. Why? I just want to say a bunch of things, like, my ding -a -ling. Oh, Jesus. That's funny? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fuck but yeah. But mine's different. <laughs> uh, it goes like this. Okay. Yeah. It's my pecker. <laughs> What are you talking Corey, about? Corey, what's going on, Corey? <laughs> yes. Hey, hey guys, how on. is it down under, Corey? <laughs> That's how you executive produce. What's up, Corey? It's a little dirty and slimy. Uh, they were, oh, Good Morning America this morning. They had the producer of that homeless veteran video. Yeah. And basically, the guy said, okay, he qualifies for some kind of veteran housing. But whatever he wants to do with his life is up to him after that. So basically, they cleaned him up, made the game a little money, and said, all right, off you go. It's your problem now. Take your new suit. See you later. Why, yeah, why is that exactly like a homeless shopping spree? Why is that not fucking derogatory to homeless people? Yeah, that's Man. exactly what we're saying. He's not Man. fixed. Yeah. So the producer basically just grabbed this guy to make a viral video. Of yeah. course. You know, we all know that, but they're romanticizing it on uh, the mainstream media. Like, yeah. wow, look at this great thing they did for this homeless guy, but they didn't fix the issues the guy has. No, and not even say, okay, we'll help you out with rehab, or maybe we'll give you a job as a production assistant if we own a production company or something. Right. It was just like... He said he was an Alcoholics Anonymous. That is rehab. Later. It's, no. not, it's not. It's different. not. No. It's different. Yeah. And he's not... No, no God, God, yeah. Birthday, you know Thank that, you. Sam, right? That's not rehab. Treatment program. A little uh, outpatient shit. I'm happy for... I hope he's doing well. I think that's great. Um, I'm not saying it's... I'm not happy to see that. I think it's fantastic. I hope it works for him. Mm. But you know, just can't they just say me? Mm. I mean, it's not, it's not that the press used to respect anonymity, right? For not years, anymore. The press, yeah, but they wouldn't say out of respect for the program and the things it does. And is he going to meetings? Well, they said he was. Well, for the first time, but is he? Is, did he go once? And, and you know, mm. that was to cover their ass a little bit. Like, hey, you know, do us a favor. Why well, you have the nice suit? Could you go? You know, go a couple blocks away from here and just go to one of those meetings. Mm. So we don't feel like total pieces of shit that we just exploited you for a viral video. <laughs> Say hi to Kevin on Long Island. Kevin. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, oh. I, I'm out here in Brentwood. I love you guys to death. I'm a CEO at Rikers. I've been on the job since 98, and you guys got me through some really, really bad times driving home. Thank no you. laughing my ass off. Um, I wanted to know if you guys had ever seen a video on YouTube. It's called I Fought For You. It's uh, an old uh, World War II veteran. He hold, hold, hold on one sec. Hold on. I'm really curious to see how... We just did this bit. I'm oh. so curious to see what CNN says about this. Oh, isn't yeah. that nice? They'll be like, oh... It, it, you, you're going to be surprised when they're positive about the video of the homeless vet? Yeah. But, no. but, cleaned up. It's, it's but nice, why can't but... they question and go, well, you know, how much help did they actually give him, or are they just uh, using him for a viral video? You guys, you just that negative on everything. <laughs> yeah, because they're not there to <laughs> shit on everything. Yeah, they give a homeless guy a haircut and you kill him. You're all uh, negative, eh? 
veterans. It's got ten up. plus uh, million hits. So right. yeah. I'm just curious. I'm going to make a knockoff video where I take myself and I make myself look worse. Oh, how are you going to do that? That's <laughs> <laughs> That is true. Everything would be an improvement, especially a bullet. <laughs> no! We're going to continue to watch this, General. Oh. But, but as Wait, a you realize it was long? young men yeah, right. and women on the battlefield, when you watch this video, how does this make you feel? Um, like any, fucking the blonde doing the hairdo. Any veteran that's homeless is a tragedy for our nation. Of course it is. These guys have given tremendous, tremendous service to our nation. And they need to be, they need to be given the ability to transition from this very seminal event of service to nation. There's what nothing that replicates yeah, you need that. Some choppers. And having the ability to make a transition back to their neighborhoods and their communities is extremely difficult to do. You're never more fulfilled than you were when you were in uniform. You have a sense of purpose, a sense of direction, camaraderie, and these bonds of love and sacrifice are right. immense well, in there forever. There you go. Well, now yeah. it's really go deep. Yeah, yeah of course. Well, it's the veteran angle, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right, of course. Hard. And Gotta take care of the boys. With yeah. Self and girls. Self it starts with confidence. From that opportunity comes, and certainly there really is a partnership between business and our Veterans Administration, and great efforts are being made to address that. Well, it, it, it just point. makes me wonder how we got to this point. Those statistics are so disturbing. Well, if Carol, you if you let me talk. <laughs> Is that her? <laughs> yes. Chad. Chad. Well, Chad. Carol. The alcoholism and the drug addiction and, that, and yeah. the mental illness caused by it. It's obvious what it is. Yeah, they've seen some shit over there, man. A little PTSD. Yeah, you yeah. combine that with some boosts. Oh, right. uh, I, I want to know how this white Republican uh, won an election by making believe he was black. Didn't yeah, have story? he didn't really make believe he was black, but he... Uh, he but, led people to believe. But wasn't he in commercials or making appearances? Um, How did he get this done? No, not really. Because the, the, the voting public are idiots. And he, but don't you want to see a picture of who you're voting for? Well, what he, he, he yeah. did it in a way like he said, endorsed by... And it was he like you know it was the wording like please let you know this member of our community yeah. and uh, Dave Wilson he put a picture of this he said endorsed by and he gave the name of a black politician right but I think he also has a relative who's got that name yes so in very fine print at the bottom he put you know like you know whatever the name was like Ron White is a relative is, is a distant cousin whatever. so he just you know he technically didn't but, yeah let's see this here's the story yeah that's a shocking win for one candidate Shock. in Tuesday's election listen to this a white guy led voters <laughs> a to white God. He was black to win a seat on the Houston Community College Board. Here's what wow. we hadn't heard Big before, election. and he's yeah. not denying what he did. Our Doug Miller has more on this unusual campaign. Ooh. On election night, as some candidates celebrated victory, not many people noticed a campaign shocker. Nobody was shocked more than the me. The shocker? That's Dave Wilson, an anti-gay <laughs> activist and a sort of political <laughs> mischief maker who put his name on the ballot. I had always said it was a long shot. No, I didn't expect to win. <laughs> He ran against this man, Houston Community College trustee Bruce Austin, who voters have elected and re-elected for 24 years. Wow. <laughs> I was rather disgusted. Disgusted by something that turned up in voters' mailboxes. Mm. Most of the voters in the district involved in this election are African American. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilson sent out a bunch of these direct mail pieces, implying uh, that he's African American. His flyers depicted smiling African American faces. <laughs> the word said, please vote for our friend and neighbor, Dave Wilson. The pictures, he admits, were just just lifted off the internet. <laughs> African American. What a coincidence. The flyer said he was endorsed by Ron Wilson. <laughs> no, not the former state representative. The fine print says Ron Wilson is Dave Wilson's cousin. Uh, that's correct. We are. You really got a cousin named Ron Wilson? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Edna and Gene's boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you. yeah. Yeah. You call I him called him up. Yeah. In, in Bloomfield, Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> In a heavily African-American district, Wilson won by 26 votes. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's good for both democracy and the whole concept of fair play. But that was not his intent, apparently. Austin has said he'll ask for a recount. But in an era of electronic voting, political analysts think Wilson's victory will hold, despite his <laughs> deliberately deceptive flyers. Doug Miller, KHOU. <laughs> he said well, uh, he'll work for our children and had a bunch of little black children. Children. Right. Shenanigans going on at the community college system. If his victory holds, he'll serve on that board for the next six, six years. years. Yep. First, Jay, uh, have you been keeping up with? 
That's great. The wow. fact that he's kind of an anti-gay activist makes me hope what? he has a stroke. But aside from that, <laughs> I like what he did. Is this his radio ad? Yes. Uh, I got to hear this. The HCC District 2 race. The one between Dave Wilson and Bruce Austin. Yes, that's the one. It's the strangest thing. What? That Bruce Austin voted against $6 million in scholarships for our children right here in our neighborhood. But he voted to... Oh, I gotta hear this. I gotta hear the ad without the news I know, guys. I love yeah. the ad. It's annoying. Yeah. It's pretty good. I want to hear it's really the good. Right here in our neighborhood. <laughs> You're not the <laughs> It's a bit misleading there. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit. But I pretended illegal. I was in black once. Mm, did you? Yeah. All right, let's let's keep it up with HCC Two. District 2 race. The one between Dave Wilson and Bruce Austin. Yes, that's the one. It's the strangest thing. That Bruce Austin voted against $6 million <laughs> in scholarships for our children right here in our neighborhood, but he voted to spend $45 million in the foreign country of Qatar. And that doesn't include the millions of dollars he spent in Vietnam, Brazil, and Saudi Arabia. Bruce Austin is killing the hopes and dreams of our children. He's setting them up for failure. <laughs> Girl, please, I bet he has relatives that could have used some of that scholarship money he voted against. I've had about enough of him. So what are we going to do? I'm voting for Dave Wilson. <laughs> Dave Wilson, <laughs> isn't he the... Yes, Dave Wilson is the man who's fighting for our neighborhoods. He's the only one in this race for HCC District 2 trustee that we can trust. We can't afford an HCC District 2 trustee who has turned his back on our neighborhoods. <laughs> Sending millions overseas. As bad as our children need help going to school. Bruce Austin ought to be ashamed. <laughs> Paid for by Dave Wilson for HCC District 2 campaign. <laughs> Good for Dave, Dave Wilson. Got a bunch of black people doing his fucking Good ads. For him. Oh, it's hilarious. Yeah, it's funny. And they hinted. Mm. Isn't he the... Isn't he the fucking crackhead <laughs> pick of wood? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dave Wilson, that motherfucking honky white-ass crack of wood pick of fucking... <laughs> Dave Wilson is pretty smart. And totally unapologetic. Good. Yeah, yeah like, these are all black people. Well, will you look at that? <laughs> and I said, Lord, he's a white man. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Six years they're stuck with him. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna help me? I got bronchitis. <laughs> he might get some things done. Maybe. All right, <laughs> big Al, what do you got, buddy? I, you know, that story in Houston, how come no one's addressing the blatant racism of the entire community? They voted for this guy because they thought he was black and totally ignored the issue. Well, they don't, Which by the way, they don't know true. that. They don't, you can't. See, they're automatically assuming that they voted for him because they thought he was black. Like, they don't know that. I Maybe they really liked where he stood on the issues, too. Mm, I think it was guy, a black guy, man. Guy, Me, too. The yeah. incumbent was there for 24 years. Yep. Wait, what's he called? The incumbent was there for 24 years. Yeah, because he's a black guy. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that. Yeah, you know what? You, 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 you should be. Excuse me. It's just like Obama. Look at the—he's got a ninety-one percent approval rating in the black community. Can they all be that stupid? No, it's because he's black. So I say, vote white. Vote white. Okay, that's what, you, what your message was. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, Miguel. See you later, Miguel. Well, Miguel. Listen, I mean, no surprise. People vote for the dumbest reasons a lot yeah. of times. Well, popularity contests. They certainly do. I one time voted for someone who had the cutest button nose. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> I think blacks are uh, very racist when they vote. I'll tell you the truth. So are white people. No. Nice. Not as racist as blacks. No. When you look at the fact that 98% of blacks that voted voted for Obama. That would lead you to lead you to believe that they voted for him based on yeah, race. But isn't there part of that that would say they want to have the first black president, not that they would vote for a black president every time? Had there been other black people to vote for? Yeah, I believe they would, though. What that, I mean, I do. I just believe they would. Yeah. Maybe. And white people obviously had to have voted for Obama because he couldn't get put over with just uh, the black vote. So they are willing to, you know, compromise as far as race goes. But, isn't but black it, people very unwilling to compromise. Black people have been voting for white people for centuries, like for, since they've been allowed to vote yeah. in, in, you know, good old fair America. They've been voting for white people forever because uh -huh. there are no black candidates. Well, that's not uh, that's the system that was put in place. The first right. black candidate that comes up and spoke well, they fucking ushered him right in there. But the, the system didn't allow for other candidates for many, many, many years. Mm -hmm. Like, if, if a system is stacked so one way racially, 
when the race that legitimately has not been allowed to do things votes for one of their own to get in, you can't look at them and go, ah, oh, look at those racists. Yeah, I can. It, you can, but it's not, it's not a fair way to do it. I mean, until things have been happening for as, as, as if the same amount of, if people know. are. Before Obama, 100% of white people were voting for white candidates. Yeah, mm -hmm. all of them. No, I know some people that voted for Jesse Jackson when he was running. <laughs> okay. And, and, and Reverend Al Sharpton. That would be a very you small know those You don't know any white people that voted you for him. I do. It was Maybe. one of my friend's moms. I oh, fucking oh, really? smack her in the See, face. that's from 1984, and you still remember the one woman you know that voted for him. <laughs> exactly. That's a bad example. <laughs> Ronnie Reagan took that one. <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> Just filling you in on the news, yeah. everybody. Great spoiler alert. <laughs> Reagan won. <laughs> Maybe look at an election like that. Obviously, it's, you know, the guy has to fake that he's black to get the black vote. Uh, he knew <laughs> he knew the deal. I mean, he's also not a nice guy. Like, yeah, whatever. He knew the deal, he's though. He's probably not great for the job. Let me, yeah, he's he an anti-gay activist. He's a douche. He might be good. <laughs> he's probably not great. Oh, he's full of fudge. I don't, I don't Thank know. you, Jim. Finally, somebody says it. I don't know if you should be bragging that you're an anti-gay activist, <laughs> yeah, by the way. Exactly. Like, where it goes on the brochure. <laughs> not only is he anti-gay, but People that's his cause. Like he, yeah, yeah, yeah. he wants to create awareness for the <laughs> right. anti-gay. Yeah, there's nothing he wants less than one man's mouth on a cock. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he worries about in our country. Yeah. To put it on the brochure, though, well, that's yeah. that's rough. Let's say <laughs> yeah. hi to Ryan in New York. Ryan. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, Ryan. Mm. Hey, uh, I, I just turned the radio back on. I heard you made it. No comment. one cares. Oh. I, yeah, uh, well, what would you have for breakfast? Yeah. What, what's your... not, not yet, Jimmy. 98% uh, of all the blacks voted for Obama. That's what you said. So yeah. that means only 2% of them actually have a brain. Oh, wow, look there's out. a talking point. <laughs> Ooh, edgy. I, just, I think out. I understand why people he looked, would vote based He looked pretty impressive at the time, sir. Yeah, and he was also yeah, it was more... A, it was a good show. And he, black people he looked very anyway. impressive. Yeah. All right, and, guys. And All now right. black yeah, people are looking at twice the uh, national average of uh, unemployment. That's good. good. Yeah. Good job, Obama. But that, but I, but I get why you would vote for for a guy like that. If I lived in a place where I, the situation was reversed, I would absolutely vote for a white guy to get the first white guy. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. you know. And and you're you're voting based on skin color. That's great. Yeah, but that's that's the way America. That's what how America has always little, done. How about a little candidate named Adolf Hitler? There you go. <laughs> but. <laughs> You, if there were just black presidents forever, yeah, you'd vote for Hitler because that, he's white. But you would vote for Hitler because he's white. You'd vote for Hitler now. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Or the H word. It's amazing yeah. how you, you we can say Hitler. You can't say Hitler. faggot on the radio or no. like on TV, but you can say Hitler. Hitler. Oh, you can do skits about it even. Why? Yeah. Why yeah. isn't Hitler the H word? There's not a much of a more offensive guy than Adolf Hitler. Nazi. But you can sing his name on that TV. That should be the right. N word. Yeah. Nazi. You're a Nazi. Or you want to do homeless cable access host who hates gays and blacks and that one. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that sounds good. Homeless yeah. guy. This man should have a home. <laughs> He's only talking to like uh, maybe thirty thousand cable well, subs. Let's get him on the phone. <laughs> He'll be talking to a lot more people well, than that. <laughs> well, CNN did the big story. Those dopes. Oh, they did. Giving this guy a lot more exposure. Gave him the attention. Community Access TV offers programs you're not going to find anywhere else. But in Burlington, Vermont, the freedom to make television has turned into a debate over the freedom of speech as one host does everything he can to push the public access boundaries. CNN's Keith Oppenheim has our story. In Burlington, Vermont, long after the sun goes down, a show begins on cable TV with something offensive for just about everyone. When does that you know she should be dead the host of the show spews violence against women he once showed a video of a pig's head being cut off as he attacked what he called feminazi pigs his name is john long viewed by many as a racist someone who encourages violence against gays my goal is to be the most hated person in burlington <laughs> wow guess he's uh getting there we got to get him on john long the public access gets crazy. Please, let's get him on. It gets, I, I don't get the rules. I just don't get the dumb rules the FCC have, the rules for TV and cable TV in, in particular. And yeah. It just, it's just all fucked up, man. <laughs> it's just yeah, fucked dude. up. It's like rags, man.
<laughs> Sorry, it just doesn't end. <laughs> Stephen wife. <laughs> I have to I have to go solve this crime. Hat you. <laughs> Stephen wife. <laughs> Stephen wife. Steve, you're done with that case? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, Steve, your evidence is all messed up. <laughs> the Steve clips have to be together. <laughs> what was that, How, sir? Steve, what do you think of your casework? That that's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> His acting stinks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that's terrible. <laughs> that's terrible. That stinks. <laughs> That was supposed to be like a grief moment. Yeah. Steve did a sketch, and his acting is so bad. But this was supposed to be like, after he hears about it, like someone talks about the death of their own mother. Yeah. This is Steve's response. That That's terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can picture his fat head shaking and his eyes kind of closed when he said it. <laughs> Why are you mad? You're in my house. You're in my fucking house. <laughs> You're in my fucking house. Why are you mad? You're in my fucking house. <laughs> Sing songy ass in life. We should get it. We should get it. For Bob Kelly, we have to. Bob has playing to again. <laughs> yeah. Go get that piece of production. Here's... Ed Wood refused to direct him. <laughs> You're here's... terrible. Here's more audio of the homeless cable access host. <laughs> On TV, he goes by the name Mr. Happy. In real life, he doesn't have a pain job or a roof over his head. John Long is 44 and homeless. How long have you been homeless? About on and off for about like 25 years. Back in 1995, when O.J. Simpson was acquitted of murder, Long says he was outraged and wanted to broadcast his opinions. He went to Vermont Community Access Media. Which uh, sees the benefit of allowing people to express themselves you know, how, no matter how uh, reprehensible their content would be. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah, certainly are. I'm so surprised they haven't figured out a way to put a stop to those uh, cable access and public access shows. Because they really are. Some of them I watch and I want to throw like something through the television. You ever see Damon really X? Been. Where no. do you find Man, ha- Me and Billy Burr used to watch him. All. Probably the funniest guy. He looks like uh, Robert Downey Jr., but he puts white makeup on and black around his eyes. <laughs> and he sits there and just, and like one episode, he's just like, I want to be motherfucking 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 president of the motherfucking United <laughs> motherfucking states of motherfucking America motherfuckers. Now if you vote for me motherfucking right motherfucking now I am Damon motherfucking ex motherfuckers for like an hour. That's all he says is motherfuckers. Wow. It's the funniest thing ever. Can we get that somehow? Uh, How do we get cable access? Damon X. It's on uh, Time Warner in Brooklyn. I know they got some, so maybe E-Rock. I don't know if I have it here. Oh, forget it. Have it. Oh, no, we don't want to do this. What? Shit. The teen that didn't miss a day of school. Oh, great. It's a feel-good story. All right, well, we can goof on it. There's there's a better story, though. Where the hell did it go? Uh, This one. I'm sure. Uh, Yeah, 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 sorry. Okay. And a teenager from Staten Island gets an A for attendance. The high school grad has not missed a single day of school since 1994. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt has his story from New Dorp. You hear about these kids every year. And you know that it gets to the point where they they have to go to school even if they have the flu because they're trying to keep their record alive. So they get everyone everyone sick. I used to take their lunch money. You were? You you did that? I used to wait at the end of the line. You know, it was like 85 cents for lunch. I used to take everybody's 15 cents. And then uh, I used to make like three or four bucks a day and then go buy like a nice half a pint of whiskey. So anyway, getting back to the kid that uh, didn't miss school. Here's the report, I guess. Well, the young man that we're talking about is graduating from high school today. And what he's going to be doing is receiving an award for not missing one day. That's right. You heard me right here. He hasn't missed one day of school from first grade all the way through what high school. What do they school. hand you for that? A you didn't douche. miss a day of school for how long? Um, it came out to about 1,960 days about, consecutively. You know exactly. i got to give you a hard time about this. What is wrong with you that you never wanted to miss a day of school? No friends. Well, um, no for a while, like, it didn't really, I didn't really notice that I wasn't missing any school until like m- the middle of my middle school career. And then career. after a while, I realized, you know, I haven't missed a day of school. Why don't I keep going and see how long I can take it? No, you know what this is all about? Another person that wants, that loves the attention. Attention. Some getter. teacher somewhere just casually said, you know, you know, I've been looking over my records and you haven't Perfect. missed a day of school yet. Perfect attendance record. And then record. a light went off in his head. Bing! This is going to be my thing. 
It'll be my thing. Everyone in school <laughs> probably goes, there's the guy. He hasn't missed a day of school yet. Look at him. He's right there. Where is he? Oh, the one who's being punched. That one. Yeah. The guy guys. up against the lockers. We'll throw darts at him. Especially high school, the best thing was to skip a day of school just out of nowhere. Yeah, random day from school is the best beers. thing ever. I used to cut just, Sometimes we would go and just hang out in the school parking lot all day and not go to school and, yeah. and just listen to rock music. Oh, Abba. Go, go into the woods. Zep. 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 Hang out. Zep, Zep and Ab. Zep over Sabbath. No, 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 no. Just hang out listen to the cars. The cars. the cars. I like the cars. Don't that, start a new character today. <laughs> I'm not. Who's that small mouth? I cut too much. His name actually Little Mouth. His name is Little Mouth. Little I mouth cut then. too much school, and then I would uh, I couldn't go back. Like I'd reach those points where it's like, wow, I haven't been to social studies in like three weeks. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Just pop in and go? Oh, hi, I'm back. So you couldn't go. You, yeah. You'd get. You'd reach a point where then you'd have to avoid the teachers in the hallway. Because uh, you, you, she she would like know that you are hadn't been to class in three weeks and you can't just drop back in so you, you'd cut out of that class and then I cut other classes and uh, or I cut the whole day and just smoke pot at my friend Frank's house and watch like Gilligan's Island and stuff. I remember when you come over I used to like smoking pot with you I've never smoked pot with you. You frowning idiot. <laughs> you said Frank Oh, Frank. It was a different Frank. I'm sorry, Frank. Yeah, he wasn't Frank the frowner. Good, good improv oh, Frank skills. the stoner. Yeah, yeah no kidding. Great. It, was, it was beautiful. I didn't recognize his name. And then you ruined it again. You went, no, the other Frank. Oh, sorry. I didn't think we were the groundlings fucking meeting. <laughs> Guy's name is Jimmy, you idiot. <laughs> You're trying to pass out the props. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we're going to do freeze it next? Yeah. Jerk off? We're going to do hands. And go. Uh, let's get a pause. All right. It's a comb, and uh, you have a baby foot in your asshole. Go. And give me an occupation. Occupation. Um, um. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one guy trying to yell something funny. Ice cream eater. <laughs> oh, you no. Know. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. And you can always tell who is who. Job. Oh, great. Frank again. Plastic surgeons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and a strange situation to be in. Uh, you're sitting on the couch and your grandmother catches you, but she's sucking a Negro's balls. <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's uh, let's go to Paul New Rochelle. He's got a question for Frank the Frowner. Ooh. Uh, Frank the Frowner, I want to know if you have a, a rebuttal to Tippy Tom and his comments on the Kentucky Fried controversy. I haven't heard those comments, so I'm not going to comment until I've heard everything. <laughs> what were they? I think we're talking about putting turkey in the chicken. <laughs> I, think you're... I like to do turkey impressions. Your question's upsetting him. He seems to be frowning. Do you know it takes more muscles what? to gobble than it does to smile? I once read on the internet. What's your comment on immigration? I don't have any comments on immigration. This is not a wacky news bit, sir. This is a childhood birth defect. <laughs> yeah, man, the guy's going to wreck the new character. Yeah, stop it. Don't wreck uh, the new character. All right, back to the kid that didn't miss a day of school. 18-year-old Stephen Renault is proud of his record, and he should be. Is he? he didn't miss one day of school from first grade all the way through to his senior year in high school. None of my friends have ever, you know, encouraged me to come to school with them. A lot of my, you know all, all my friends. Be? If on his way to, dr to, to pick up his, his graduation uh, ceremony, he was mowed down by a drunk driver. <laughs> Some kid playing hooky. <laughs> Just had a bottle of Jack and fucking wrecked his dreams with one misread light. With Leonard Skinner oh. blasting Freebird. Oh. <laughs> All right. Through to his senior year in high school. None of my friends have ever, you know, encouraged me to cut school with them. A lot of my, all of my friends are actually, you know, into their schoolwork also. So they haven't felt any need to uh, encourage me to cut. And I actually don't yeah. really know many of my friends who have cut school. Now, keep in mind, Stephen never even stayed home sick. He says missing school just wasn't beneficial. When you miss out, of, when you used to day of school, you end up missing a lot of stuff. And it's more work to keep up with it than, you know, than just staying with do it for the whole week. Or it's the, more hassle than what it's worth. Exactly. I now Stephen is McDonald's. graduating oh. from Staten Island Technical High School. And in the fall, oh. get a load of this, Dummy. he's going to be attending Yale University and he's majoring Ooh. in economics. In college, I guess I plan on keeping my perfect attendance. I'll see how it goes once I'm there. I don't know yet, but I probably will. 
And on the back of Stevens' T-shirt there, it said Yale 2010. Well, that's going to be the year that he graduates from Yale. And you know his Why mom. Else would he have Her that? name is Marilyn. She is very oh, proud of him. And, of course, we wish him the very best. Why else would he have the date on the back unless that was the class he was in, you fucking stupid idiot? The, the burnout should have broke into his house after his parents leave for work and mm. just, like, duct tape him to a chair so he misses a day of yeah, school. Can't get to school. <laughs> I must make it. He had a perfect attendance record, except for that one day where he was taped and raped by fellow students. <laughs> <laughs> With a lacrosse stick. <laughs> uh, he sounds and he is, Jason. Thank you. Yes, and he, which means he actually, he actually attended more school than six of his other family members combined. <laughs> All right, we don't know. Or he'll be shot on his first day of college. You really think the one big uh, chance of getting out of the uh, the rut of the community? Is he? Is he? Is he? Uh, is he? Um, we don't know. Do you think he is? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yes. What do you call a black guy that didn't miss one day of school? Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus, Schwiggy? No. What? No, I don't. I don't. I don't a very a responsible know. young man. A, a black guy right. with white parents. That's right. <laughs> Went with the bit a little too much, Bob. Uh, you know, I don't mean to tear down a wall here, but you know. I'm sorry, dude. dude I mean, I'm gonna tear down the, the I'm gonna tear down the thirtieth wall. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Sometimes we don't what? I, I'm the only one that tears. Down well, I'm not. This is not me speaking. <laughs> you don't want me to Norton. Frank the Frowner now, this, do you? This is Jim Norton, the actor that plays. No, that's plays my bit too, Frank Jimmy. the Frowner. <laughs> You, that, that's you can't my do bit. Frank the Frowner. That's my bit when I step out of character. Oh, oh and Opie. I'm, and I'm, can't, just what? do Frank the Frowner. Yeah, why can't? Don't you said he can't do it. Why couldn't Opie do Frank the Frowner? I, I, I steal it. No, I don't want to steal. Yeah, you know who I, Frank I the like Frowner's cousin is? Who? Hey, Frank the Angry hey. Typing hey. hey. Guy. That's my bit, too. <laughs> Stop. Angry Typing Guy is... I've run out of bits to come bit. up with. I, I can't come up with any new ones. <laughs> Hey, 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 now you're, now you're combining your bit with my bit. Stop. Speaking of frowning. Hey. <laughs> That's my brother's bit that I ripped Speaking off. Speaking of frowning. <laughs> I'm a black ninja. <laughs> mm. But Chinese are coming. <laughs> I haven't developed that one yet. I'm still working on the Chinese are coming. All right. So speaking of Superman, uh, you know, everyone's on it. All the news programs. And how can they do this little twist on their story instead of just doing a, m a movie review? It's uh... well, one of the cable news outlets. I'm not sure if it's Fox or M MSNBC. Yeah. Fox, Fox, of course. Superman. Who else would it Superman's be? powers possible on Earth? Hmm. <laughs> All hell is breaking loose in Iraq and Israel. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk Middle about. Middle East is a mess, but let's talk about the fantasy world. <laughs> yeah. C could Superman exist? How would he get his powers? We'll tell you. Right. Let's, let's see what this is all Here about. Here it is. All right. Well, we didn't see any of his superpowers. But I know they're there. I know that's it. That's right. Uh, that's, uh, I've seen them before. Are they scientifically possible with Superman? For all of us. The national, I, I know I can sit there and ask questions. Yeah. I've got that power. But what about the other stuff? The National Geographic Channel is finding out in a special called The Science of Superman. With us is Michael Denon, a physics professor at UC Irvine who's featured in the show. It's good to have you here with us. Good to be here. You're a Princeton grad. Yeah. Um, so what about this? Uh, starting with flying. We all want to fly. Is it possible? Flying? No, yeah. Flying you buy a ticket. Power in the show, you'll see tomorrow that we really point out how it just doesn't work. You, you blame gravity. No, look, can, well, I, I have a, can I? I don't mean you to be too blame technical. gravity. Did I just hear him go? You blame gravity for the fact that we can't fly? Yes. Is blame the, gravity. Is the media really? Interviewing a man about is it po she actually asked that like a real journalist like well yeah. is it possible how about this no whore it isn't it isn't you dolt it's a man in a homoerotic outfit with a cape <laughs> rescuing people only in one city a oh, hole yeah oh. why only one city Jimmy exactly hey it's a metropolis where else are you gonna go exactly why why is he why isn't he breaking through brothel doors stopping men from having sex with like HIV positive hookers. <laughs> you're a you're a C blocker. I just saved you, son. <laughs> fly. We all want to fly. Is it possible? Uh, flying? No, flying is the one superpower in the show. You'll see tomorrow that we really point out how it just doesn't work. You, you just, blame gravity? Well, gravity is just too strong. Yeah, you can't you can't get over gravity. There's no way to do it. They do have some creative ideas that the comic writers put out, but they don't really work. 
This is called a waste of time. Wow. This is we waste of time TV. Is it possible to fly? Well, How if about... you're an Asian student at NYU for a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed by your grades? Well, they have a little problem down there oh from time God. to time. Just take the B and <laughs> shut up. Like we said many times, they got to install trampolines all around <laughs> NYU. Yeah. <laughs> these, these daffy bastards are jumping because they got a B plus. Too much pressure. <laughs> right. Got to get a 4.0. Well, this is waste of time TV. Yeah. What about his super strength? Uh, because, you know, you always hear stories about uh, somebody comes across... Uh, He's lifting the helicopter. See, that's yeah. hard. Somebody comes across a car accident and they lift the car off the people, or they go and they save a jumbo jet like that right there. You always hear about yeah. that. Is it possible? Now, the super strength also is one. He could have it initially when he comes from the planet because of gravity, but what you worry about, like the astronauts get weak after time, mm -hmm. you'd expect Superman to get weak yeah, after yeah. time. What the, what the hell are they talking about? Because of gravity? What about when your foot gets tangled in, in the stirrups? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they ask the real questions? If Superman is able to stand there and stop a train, wouldn't his weight have to be so much that it would crush whatever he's walking on? Like, like how could he... How could he just put his arms out and stop something that is very heavy. It doesn't matter how strong you are. It's going to be your weight versus the weight of what you're trying to stop and the friction between the bottom of your shoes and whatever surface you're on. You must be fun to go to the movies with. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> so he would have to overcome that lack of friction <laughs> no between his shoes and the street. And the only thing that could do that is p sheer weight. So he would have to be very heavy, but he flies. Yet, yet he flies. He would have to weigh a lot, but it doesn't damage the ground he's walking on. Like if he was walking on grass, he should leave great holes in the ground where he's walking he because he's so suit. heavy. He doesn't rip his suit bottoms or his suit shoes. I believe his suit is made from material that came from the planet Krypton. So it is as strong as, as he is. Well, who cleans it? He has one suit he wears all the time? What a Could cool. it get dirty? That filthy suit on I believe it's machine washable if it can take an airplane crashing <laughs> into it. <laughs> hey, there's a couple of great phone calls coming in. Uh, Jeff in Chicago. Jeff? Hey, hey guys. Hey. Are they just going to go through a big list of Superman's powers and say, no, it's not possible? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 0 for 2 so far. Every single one. <laughs> This is now, all right. This is waste of time TV. How Pay attention; the, it's happening all around you. How about the ability to uh, shoot himself when the series is over? <laughs> Possible. Possible. Yes. Uh, Brian in North Carolina. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. Hey, uh, I think it was Jimmy who actually said that uh, he only saves people in one city. Yeah. Think about it. In the first one, he was out in the uh, what uh, Hoover Dam. He was out there in Nevada. Oh, you're right. He was out in um, Niagara yeah, Falls. Yeah, but, but only for, like, major disasters. Right. He only hangs right. around Metropolis, like, picking up uh, crooks yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, he goes on, uh, like, uh, business trips every once in a while. How about, how about the second one when he stops that bus from flying through the air when those, those three bad people throw a bus at him? He stops it with one hand. Three bad people? I mean, how old on. are you, four? <laughs> <laughs> bad people. He stopped it with one hand, right. Yeah, yeah, one hand. They're the monsters I see at night. <laughs> And he can oh do God. things, sometimes he does things that are uh, real feats of strength. You know, he'll pick up a, a dump truck, something like that. Uh, and and you, you just he's smiling. And then other times, he's trying to maybe get through a door, and he's bending the steel of the door, and it looks like he's straining. He's going, yeah, yeah. you picked up a dump truck without even blinking. There's inconsistencies that, I, that I'm seeing well, let's uh, let's see what he has to say about X-ray vision. All right, X-ray vision. Is it possible? X-ray vision is interesting because I used to get wrestling magazines, and they swore they sold glasses. X-ray specs. Yeah, X-ray yeah, specs. I had them all the time. Now, is it true? Uh, should I have a word about it? No, the X-ray vision, we have X-ray <laughs> machines. That works. We know how to do that, but we don't know how to do X-ray vision. Are we close? <laughs> Not even close to the X-ray vision. So it's made up. Is anyone today? It so it's made up, he says. Oh for, <laughs> oh for three. No flying, no super strength, no oh, X-ray vision. You guys are really getting to the bottom of things. How about super breath? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Oh, this is what? the same freaking show that uh, gives you the updates on our soldiers in Iraq. Yeah. Terrific. What other uh, powers does he have? Uh, well, super breath, 
you know. And Super breath. Oh, oh. Yeah. When he freezes like things. Like hurricane oh. hip. Oh. And, and then he's got that, like, laser eye thing going. Yeah, yeah. Well, we He did... zaps things with his laser eyes. Yeah. Ugh. All right, here we go. Super breath. Super breath. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've witnessed that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Had an onion, did you? <laughs> oh, super breath. I bet you did witness that. Oh, that's terrific. When, when your girlfriend came home and she burped and you're like, honey, it smells like bleach, and you saw another gentleman's car driving off. <laughs> <laughs> Could be a problem. Yeah, super breath. Super breath. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've witnessed that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in this studio, I've, the I've seen the super breath. The super breath is one, once you give him super strength, we talk about it in the National Geographic Channel special, you can imagine him getting super breath by sucking in the air and compressing it and then blowing it out really fast. So is that... I don't think that's possible. You cannot use your lungs as an air conditioning compressor. So it's hot your body inside. So super breath, yeah. also a no. Oh for no. four. Let's say hi to Max in Dallas. Max. Hey, two quick questions. How come whenever the guy Ew. shoots bullets at uh, Superman and they run out of bullets, don't say it. <laughs> don't don't say it. It's a hack stand-up joke, what's, my friend. What's the next one, sweetie? And the second one is a Superman's in an elevator. And the elevator cable breaks, he's falling, and he jumps. Will he die? Punch it out. Good question. Well, not Superman, but everyone in the elevator will, yes. Yes. Let's say hi to John in North Carolina. John? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, Super Breath is possible. Uh, just ask E-Rock. <laughs> His family's oh, listening boy. in West Palm Beach. Whole family. Please Have some not. mercy, sir. Don't. We love your son. He's an abysmal failure, but we love him. <laughs> what about flying around the Earth backwards and reversing time? Is that possible? Can we reverse time? No, it would just screw up the rotation and we'd all float away. Would that be it? <laughs> it would wreck it for everybody else. Really I want to hear the serious answer. Why didn't they address that? Well, we got super hearing. Oh. So far, 0 for 4. The only power within human reach could involve our ears. Through, you know, artificial means, it is conceivable that in the future we'd get super hearing, but it would be some sort of artificial bionic type. So you'd have to have a machine. Yeah. All right, Jackass. <laughs> he has just then explained all the other powers. Because, yes, we can fly with machines. We do it every day. We can see through things with machines. We have x-ray vision with a machine. Super strength, yes. With machines, we can pick up huge boulders. That uh, what? Why just the hearing? Did he bring up with a machine? What he's trying to say is like, what is it like that would give everybody the same hearing a woman has when you drop the C bomb in the next room? <laughs> no matter how low you say it, when whispering it to her invalid mother who's been <laughs> staying with you. <laughs> so you try to pull out the old pillow and end your misery. <laughs> all, like the camera pans down, all you see is the two old stocking feet kicking out in a white shoe, falling off of one. <laughs> <laughs> Burden over. <laughs> now you can go back to having fun in that guest room. Uh, put the pillow back under her head. Natural causes. <laughs> <laughs> her eyes are wide open. Her lips are pulled all the way back up in her gums. <laughs> gonna fix them. <laughs> all right, so finally, we uh, we get a little discussion about kryptonite or oh. krypton. Krypton exploding, sending Superman to Earth. Could this happen? Okay. Good krypton question. Exploded. Superman put in a capsule, saved his parents, unfortunately, their demise. Well, well, could this happen? The planet exploding is something that's talked about in the National Geographic Special. Wait, our planet? Or the no, planet? not our planet. Oh, you, 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 Sorry, you, need, you need something very special about the planet. It's very, very hard to make a planet explode. Stars explode all the time. Planets, much harder. <sighs> mm. A mm. complete waste of time. He didn't even answer that one. No. Well, the, I actually am reading right now. It says Christopher Reeve's mansion... It was $2.95 million. That's it? Yeah, I'm sure there's an elevator put in. <laughs> Bunch of ramps everywhere. <laughs> Big wide bathroom doors. <laughs> Handles. Handles everywhere. <laughs> so there you have it. Nice. The tie-in. Every movie has to have the tie in locally, or yeah, everyone has to have their tie into some so big movie. So there's the tie in. Well, did you see him trying to do it? Our planet? Yeah. Right, Exploding right. Our planet? planet? What? what happened here? This uh, just in. Are the news uh, programs doing this, too? Ah, uh, probably. Yeah. 
some type of... Uh, I'm trying to think of a really good one that they could tie into Superman. A tie-in to Superman. That's a tough one. How I they mean, they it? really went out on a limb here with their stupid uh, superpower thing. Uh, could it be possible? Oof. All right. What producer is getting fired right now for that uh, segment? Eesh. On our show? No. Oh, with them? Yeah. With them. We had fun goofing on it. was huh? horrible. Hey, uh, very good news. After the break, we got some terrific audio from the Kevin and Virginia show. I can't <laughs> wait. Our big competitors <laughs> down, down in West, West Palm, Palm Beach. They, they work for what? Wild? 95.5. 95.5. We were vaulted to number two in uh, a month. <laughs> And they stand in our way. Bird and Philly, uh, Jimmy must have some of Superman's powers because he also has a big S on his chest from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Very, very good. That's All right. Hurtful. The Disney worker found with baby porn? Yeah. This is sick. Uh, well, they should screen anyone who works there relatively carefully. I mean, of course. Of creep work there. All right, really, really fast. It's a lot of people like uh, putting themselves in those situations. It's quick. 21-year-old Tony Guerra shook his head and turned away from our camera as agents from the FBI's Innocent Images Task Force arrested him at Disney's MGM Studios on Thursday. No. A federal search warrant quoted him saying, I love babies, during a chat session on the photo-sharing website called Hello Google. <laughs> Good old Come Hello on. Google. What that, the hell is that? It almost sounds like someone just well, what joking. Around, but was there pictures exchanged? Oh, they don't just arrest you for saying that. I love did, it. Was arrested though at MGM? Uh, did like Keystone cops come and get him? <laughs> and people were taking pictures. Goofy with a with a with a yeah. sheriff star. <laughs> <laughs> and an oldie time car. <laughs> sharing website called Hello Google. The search warrant said Guerra asked an undercover officer posing as a mother if she had molested her own children, then sent 63 still photos and four videos of child pornography that's too graphic to describe and featured children under the age of six. What the... F this guy should honestly just have a gun put to his head and he Jesus. shot. He asks one question and then dumps a boatload of porno over the uh, internet line it's to she, her. It, it, well, it wasn't her. It was an undercover cop. Yeah, yeah. I love babies can be a very nice, healthy thing to say. I love babies. Aw. You just said that. What a creep this guy is. <laughs> I've never Under heard. Six. I swear to God, I've never heard the term baby porn before. I nah. Heard. Never heard that before until this story hit today. Investigators said they've already found roughly 5,000 images as part of a preliminary search of a computer in the Kissimmee apartment where he's rented a room for the last three months. A Disney <laughs> spokesperson months. told Eyewitness News, We take allegations like these very seriously. Tony Guerra has been placed on unpaid administrative leave pending the outcome of the charges. Leave? What scum. His name should be Danny Download. He's a busy boy. <laughs> 5,000 images. Good Golly. Jesus. I don't really, I think it's disgusting what he likes, but you know, hats off to the internet connection. It's obviously very fast. <laughs> wow. Uh, if he's guilty of that, if that's really his and he's trading those, they should just put a gun in his head and yeah. just shoot him. Talking about uh, engagements today, right? <clears throat> well, fun? yes. Somebody lost their wedding ring. Jonathan Henderson's all smiles now. But it was a different story after he dropped his wedding ring into this toilet because you know what was about to hit the fan when he told his wife. The butterflies are like, what is she going to say? And right now she's pregnant, so every little thing kind of sets her off. Can you believe it? Jonathan took off his wedding ring to wash his hands in this porta potty and the ring fell into the toilet. <laughs> That's right, the symbol of his undying love. Why does he have to have the news voice? Yeah, fell into the toilet. This wedding ring fell in the soupy chat. <laughs> <laughs> How great would it be if this guy was talking in that voice and somebody just gave him a Colombian necktie? <laughs> like, they just, like, as he's talking, they gently lift his chin, slice his throat, and pull his tongue out through his neck, and then make him finish as he's gurgling on his own blood. It's just a That's thought. right, the symbol of his undying love for his wife lost in a soup of unspeakables. So now what is poor Mr. Henderson oh. to do? His wedding ring is in the toilet. Will his marriage follow? And what in the world do you tell your wife? Now he's well, here's in church? What she said. God, are you serious? Thanks a lot. You know what I mean? That shows how much you care. That's exactly and what she said. Exactly. She really let me have it. Did she? Mm. Did she? A really interesting story. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a feel-good story. Dunk.
Thank goodness for the folks who maintain the porta potties because they were able to help. The customer service is our number one priority. Tim Custer is the general manager oh, of the company. Boy. Custard? So of course, he didn't actually <laughs> retrieve the ring from the bowels of the outhouse. No, that chore went to Don Graham, who got the job done with a can. Old shit scooper. <laughs> How late do you have to be to work? How late to work do you have to be where you see your name on that detail? Yeah. Rifle through porta potty for lost items. Someone drop their quarter. Get to it. <laughs> that is a disgusting uh, a pile of contents in those porta potties. Yeah. Where was it? I don't know. A job site or something? I don't know. Because no, those that are the tour worst. went to Don Graham, who got the job done with a can. So you were scooping around in the soup with a can. Correct. Soup. And apparently on the first try, you found the ring. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. With the ring back safely on his finger, Jonathan Henderson mm. says he'll be more careful from now on when he washes his hands. Yes. We're just glad he doesn't wear that dentures. Is. <laughs> I get it because if his teeth have fell a in there, full of shit. <laughs> his mouth. you know he's got to be pissed off. Is Don Graham? Thanks for telling everybody, asshole. Yeah, uh, that's my fucking job. Yeah. I told people I work for NASA. Yeah. <laughs> right. I scoop shit. My mother fuck. thinks I'm a nurse. <laughs> yeah, Chinese food worker caught. Um, should I tell Jimmy what the, he was caught doing? No, I mean, I, okay, Alex, I, I honestly don't know. All right. I don't want to know. Food uh, for thought that may be a little hard to swallow. Food yeah. for thought hard to swallow. <laughs> Come on, right there. It's good. You don't even have to play the rest of the story. Wait. It's a good one. Food for thought. Hard to swallow. Hard to swallow. That's fantastic. Chew on this for a while. <laughs> yes. uh, is that a pun? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it'd be, it'd be interesting if it was a story on colon cancer. Hope you're sitting down. <laughs> Easy lady. Yeah. Listen to her. Hell no to H2O. Oh. Hell no to H2O. It is an epidemic. Hell no to H2O. Hell no to H2O. Worse than cocaine. Hell no yeah. to H2O. Hell no to H2O. Man, it's got no taste. Hell no to H2O. Gotta go when you serve that H2O. <laughs> Gotta go. Well, if it's worse than cocaine, but yeah. it's not because it doesn't have a taste. So there's yeah. What? Well, yeah. yeah, I don't get it. Like hell no. Is this guy gonna fill his pool up with tab? <laughs> <laughs> How long would that take, Jimmy? Specify here. <laughs> Obviously, he doesn't have a lawn. <laughs> God <laughs> almighty. Yeah. But someone that hates water, this guy takes a cake. <laughs> 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 I love your new character. What? Uh, Jimmy comes up with the best characters. Character? Uh, <laughs> it's, All right, here it's we Jimmy. go. It's just me. Let's go to the mid, mid me. <laughs> Chinese food worker <laughs> caught yeah, this doing this. Some food uh, for thought that may be a little hard to swallow. Yeah, reports uh, that a worker at a Rockland County restaurant prepared crushed garlic in a way the garlic should never be crushed. There is trouble afoot here at the Great China Buffet in Nanuet. That's disgusting. Where the garlic is not only sautéed in steam, but allegedly stomped. Uh, he's actually doing this, and there's garlic pieces laying all around. John Stoughton is with the Rockland County Department of Health and says this is a picture of a worker from the restaurant stomping on a huge bowl of garlic with his shoes on. Ooh, we don't really approve of somebody using their, their shoes to, to crush the food with. That's strong don't language. really approve of that. <laughs> don't approve. You know how he got caught? Um, I no. <laughs> a gentleman. You know what Took store? You know what store was right next door though? Uh, the photography store, a cell phone store, oh, okay. same thing. Every phone oh. has a freaking camera. So on a it. guy took a picture. He he was actually outside stomping the, this garlic with outside? his outside. Yeah, dude, he had to in, walk out in the, a back alley of a Chinese restaurant. You know how we were talking about how awful that street is outside this building? Yeah, it's the same type of situation. So he walks out the back door in an alley. He's walking. They show what he walks. He's got this, this giant, uh, you know, uh, stainless steel wok-looking thing. It's full of garlic, and he's crushing them with his shoe, his boot, that he's been walking around in this disgusting back alley in, and crushing the garlic to bring inside and then using the uh, food. Isn't that fantastic? It was a Chinese food buffet? Yeah, and then they confront the owner, and of course he's, you know, uh, yelling. I would wish I, I wish I could imitate the guy yelling. 
at the news reporter. But uh, they dumped me doing that. Yeah. Although he didn't sound like, please get away from me with that camera. Please, please. Do we have audio of the guy yelling? I don't know. We'll see here. Who's jumping up and down over here? The photo was taken by Dan Barreto, who works at the AT&T store right next to the restaurant and says he witnessed it in the back alley. He was just jumping up and down on it at first. And then when I grabbed my camera, he was just doing one foot in, just stepping, mashing it up. The garlic. Yeah, the garlic. At the restaurant today, an employee told us the man in the picture has been fired. The guy is not working here. The restaurant has been cited with two violations and a warning for a first offense. But if it happens again, the health department could really put its foot down, <laughs> imposing $1,000 <laughs> fines per violation. Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News. The restaurant has CBS. reportedly said the crushed garlic in question was thrown away and was not served to customers. The health yeah. department says the restaurant was fined back in 2001 for unsanitary conditions. Yeah, because I'm sure this was the first time he did. Yeah, uh, yeah, they threw it away. Yeah. Stop. Uh, yeah, I like when the guy was getting mad at the reporter, though. I started yelling at him to get away. Why can't you just put the garlic on a thing and, and put, like, a cloth over it and hammer the it? garlic press. Yeah. Because it was a whole big thing. It's too, too much to press, so you got to stomp it with your nasty boot that's been walking around in street sludge. That's terrible. It's disgusting. All right, here's a quickie before break, before we get Stephen Lynch in here. 10-year-old Asheray Washington loves football, but after Friday, it could be a while before Asheray puts on a uniform again. Because we was going to, like, climb up, climb up that hill right there, and, and then once you reach that fence, get back up and sprint back down. Asheray says players were running into each other on the run down, so... So I chose to, to walk down the hill... But Oshere says that didn't sit well with head coach of the Midwest Marauders, Kurt McKinney. He was like, you're too slow and you're no good for the team, so give me back my equipment. And matter of fact, take off my pants while you at it. So that's just what Oshere says he did. Oshere says he sat in his boxers on these bleachers, then went to a neighbor's house. Uh, I said he was wrong. And uh, he said the coach had made him take his pants off. The vice president of the league says the coach denies doing anything wrong. Why are we doing international news? <laughs> this not. cannot possibly be the United States of America. Yeah, that's the United States of America. Did did I hear I, I chose to walk down? <laughs> did I hear that? Where, where where was that? Late? I chose I chose I seen uh, the cops knocking the truck window out. And I thought they was giving the man UPS. I thought the man was dead. That's the way it was. Got to give him UPS. If oh, he's, of course. Uh, if you think someone's if he's dead, not breathing, got to start with that UPS right give him, away. Give him some UPS. I, I think we're focusing on the wrong part of the story. Why? Which is that the young man was forced to remove his trousers. Oh, is that what the story was about? Yes. Down to his underpants. I swear it was very hard for me to understand. Down to his underpants. What was going on? That must have been the South, right? Mm. Was that down south? Well, I don't know. He was a bad boy, and the coach told him. <laughs> All right. I just straighten you right out. <laughs> sit in your little little boxes. Yeah, you got to sit over there in your little underpants and might <laughs> go learn a lesson over there in the bleachers. Come over and teach you. Oh, that is the creepiest voice ever. I think it was. I got. What, what did he say? Oh, where is it? Was it in the beginning of the? Class? It was when he talked about. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was in the I, beginning. I don't want to play the whole. Thing again. Mm, hear him a little bit. Got to save time for hell no to H two O. Well, ten year old Ashere Washington loves Ashere. football, but after Friday, it could be a while before Ashere puts on a uniform again. Cause we was gonna like climb up, climb up that hill right there, and and then once you reach that fence, get back up and sprint back down. Ashere says players were running into each other on the run down. So. So I chose this to walk down the hill. I chose this to walk down yeah, the hill. What's wrong with to I chose this to walk down the hill. What's wrong with that? Wait, I, he might be saying I chose just to walk down the hill. He might have been saying, look, because Southerners, yeah. I got to say. I chose just to walk down no, the no, hill. No, no, I chose just to, I chose just, I could be, I just. I could swear that was I chose this to walk down the hill. What's wrong with choses? Choses? Nothing. I like to chose this from time you to time. Could, I understood what he meant by it. Perhaps you should chose as English instead of football. <laughs> That's what I would have chosen as, as far as schooling goes. <laughs> there's, there's your line. Uh, there it is. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? 
When Gina McKee was at this convenience store, she says she saw a man stealing someone's wallet. So she confronted him. He immediately starts just going off. Um, I didn't take nothing. The police can come. And so then I get out of the car. I'm like, you know, the police are on their way. Don't leave. According to McKee, the suspect, Lemuel Voorhees, started screaming and throwing punches. Then she says he took off his prosthetic leg and hit her with it. He says <laughs> Voorhees even picked up his bike and threw it at her. A few minutes later, police showed up. She says it was worth it. If it was to happen again, I'd do the same thing. Police say the suspect has a record that goes back 15 years. They are investigating the missing wallet, but Voorhees is facing assault charges for hitting McKee with his prosthetic leg. Wait, he threw the leg and the bike. If you're if you're committing a crime, why was he using his only modes of transportation? <laughs> Both of them. As weapons. I got to get away. Let me throw <laughs> my leg and my bike. <laughs> what are you doing? Keep the leg on, use the bike, and go with the wallet. A, and and yet he had a life of crime. <laughs> <laughs> he had quite the career. <laughs> Never <laughs> learned. Yeah. Where's the uh, Where's the makeup story, Jimmy? You might have that one. The which one, sweetie? Uh, well... It was added to the uh, the old show prep in between shows. Oh, there's Than yeah, the running out of the bathroom. Than's pulling his pants up. <laughs> it's oh. not that important, Than. Buckling Jesus. up. I like that. Yeah. That's a go a go getter. That a boy. If he was a go getter, he would have shit on commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. He's a fucking. He's a, he's a lactose intolerant lump. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe, maybe he just met Clinton. Yeah, that's true. He might have just met Clinton. It's a button. Well, oh, no, that, cause, that was from today. You can't Maddie, do you it still heard. Today. From, the, heard. from the green room. <laughs> hey, you get an apology. I think you deserve to be heard. <laughs> God. Uh, all right. Sister, uh, sisters keep mother's body in cold storage. What do you got on this, uh, Jimmy? Well, oh, they yeah. highlight a lot of it. A oh, uh, lot of reading. It says here almost every week, according to their family, these two sisters, uh, they pay a visit to their mother and to make sure she's looking her best. Uh -uh. It's a, a devotion that transcends death and social convention because she died 10 years ago. Since then, uh, these two ghoulish cunts have kept her in cold storage. <laughs> Wait a minute, my copy is different. I don't see ghoulish. Yeah, well, I'm I have, looking I have for ghoulish. It, 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 was, uh, there's a little carrot uh, put in. It was written over. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, we'll have to take your word for these that. These two ghoulish cunts have kept uh, uh, their dead mother in cold storage in a funeral parlor in northwest London. I knew it was oh, London English. because parlor is spelled O-U-R. Oh, parlor. Uh, her body, uh, which was treated uh, in formaldehyde, it's wasted since then. According to a relative, but since she's uh -huh. British and her personality was so <laughs> fucking dead and sick, they've only known she's been dead for six weeks. <laughs> but boom, boom. <laughs> Cock meat, nothing uh, but. Uh, below the. Cock meat, oh, like, nothing but. <laughs> Cock meat. Might be on to a new bed. Below the waist. Nothing but. Her corpse is said to have <laughs> withered to a skeleton. Oh. Uh. Above it. Tight, leathery skin stretches over the bone. If that's not things done in exactly the wrong order, what is? <laughs> Below the waist is exactly the part you want to remain leathery. Who cares? No offense, ladies, but if you're rotted away from the hips up, we don't give a shit. <laughs> we love you, but if some part of you has got to remain, it's got to be the... That, that is really a creepy image. That they're they're like dressing her up and yeah. and she's rotted away. Well, the body is degraded to the extent that it's just a skeleton with a bit of stretched scaly skin over the head. It's horrific, like a character from a horror film. Well, we we like to put lots of blush on her cheeks, <laughs> makes her look rather lifelike. And it's beautiful. She's beautiful in death. Once she assumed room temperature, we thought it would be best to make her look better than she does. And the skin, especially around, you know, her naughty bits is a little dry, so we use moisturizer. I remember the day her anus fell off. Remember that? That was tragic. Yes. Quite tragic. We put it back on with a little bit of eyeshadow. <laughs> you know, that the eye sockets, of course, now are empty. Which causes us to use a lot more, you know, of, of the eye shadow. To it's quite a shadow with the hole <laughs> left by the rotting of the eyes. It's hard to bring her beautiful eyes out when they've fallen out years ago, yes. just <laughs> using makeup. Yes, and of course, you know, the, there's lots of perfume is used. Lots of perfume. The stench is quite. Yes, we sent for a case of Charlie. Yes, we douse her body in it too. <laughs>
<laughs> the wacky Betty Hill music. <laughs> a post-mortem examination of their mother's death reportedly revealed that she died from an embolism brought on by a leg vein thrombosis. Um, they were unhappy about the verdict uh, of the uh, autopsy, so they wanted a second opinion. But apparently no health or safety violations have been breached, and the corpse does not smell. Uh, no law is saying people can't keep a corpse for years after registering the death. So it's normal to bury it, but you can keep it. Wow, England's weird. Are we allowed to keep a corpse? No. no. I would love to. There's some kind of health <laughs> problems. Why you not? would love to. Oh, please. Well, not officially. You know, the ones you... Yeah, just obviously, the they, they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> just to humiliate its body. <laughs> okay, aunt uh, buys hookers for 12-year-old boys. Aunt. Aunt. Not Anthony. Aunt, uh, See, I aunt. say aunt, too. Me, too. My aunt. A local mother facing serious charges tonight. Police say she handed over money to buy prostitutes for her 12-year-old son. Really? Michelle, that's not all of what's being charged. No. Channel Action News reporter Sheldon Ingram has more from Denora, Washington County. Denora police say the mother supplied the cash, the aunt supplied the prostitutes, and the boy was given sex. Mm. Ray's bar in Denora. This is where the mother of the 12-year-old boy worked. Her sister showed up twice on November 2nd. The mother gave her sister $40 each time for a shopping spree for her son. Channel 4 Action News will not identify the mother to protect the boy's identity. Your sister came to the bar. Yeah, she wanted $80. I gave it to her for my child. I bet she thinks the kid is gay and she's trying to straighten him out. Ah, uh, maybe. Uh, 12 seems well, a little too young, huh? Yeah. Oh, no. This oh, is our sister, 36-year-old Linda Van Poole. She is charged by police for using the money to lead her 12-year-old nephew into two separate sexual encounters with prostitutes. The aunt had taken the boy to these two separate locations for the purposes of providing sex for the child. I didn't assume that he had access to those type of women. Did you know what she was going to do with the money? No. No. You had no idea she was going to use that money for no. prostitutes? No, I just assumed that she was going to take the money, send the money at Walmart or wherever. <laughs> Walmart. I'm sure the kid probably didn't uh, didn't mind much. Yeah, that happens. How did, how did this, uh, how did they catch this? I don't know. Although Someone ratted. Says she huh? Maybe mom ratted. Although the boy's mother says she did not know her sister would use the money to buy her son sex, she does reveal that her son had sex on his mind just one day before. Come to me, he said he was having sexual urges, but he was going through puberty, 12 years of age, puberty. He told you he was having sexual urges? Yeah. And how did you accept that? No, I told him, okay, well, we can talk about anything we want to talk about. Oh. Despite her claim to innocence, the mother also faces charges while harboring a lot of anger. If I get a hold of those girls, they'll, they'll, they'll wish to God they'd never been born. The mother has a trial the prostitutes? three weeks. And the North sure they wish that already. Yeah. Going <laughs> her <two> women <laughs> who had sex with a 12-year-old boy. Yeah, she's a little screwy. First of all, that's creepy. Your kid coming up to you saying, I'm having sexual urges. And you just go, oh, well, we could talk about anything you like. That's something mom can't help with. Well. Really can't help. <laughs> well. Unless mom is willing to spit in her hand and be a good egg. <laughs> 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 unless mom is willing to bite the bullet and help young, young, young Junior out. <laughs> Little Junior. So that's something dad could help with. You go to your father. You go, hey, dad, man, waking up with a fucking rod. Every morning. And then he goes, an achy rod. You wait here, I'll hook you right up. And then he gets something called buzz. Brings her back. How old were you? I believe I was just about that young lad's age. 12 or 13? That's amazing. Somewhere around that young lad's age. That wasn't even a thought in my dad's head to get oh. me late at 12. Well, I think they knew 13. I was jacking it in the bathroom. How long did it take you to they dump the buzz? Uh, well, the the thing is, she had t uh, told me when I w walked upstairs, she goes, uh, "Why don't you?" Or she goes, "Why don't you take a shower first? And I had no idea, you know, that was in mind. So I went in, took a shower, but I scrapped in the shower because I would jerk at any at any time I was alone, like a fucking chimp. I'm I'm pulling my fucking dick, so I jacked in the shower. And uh, then I get done showering, and, and there's Buzz. 
Hey, going, uh, hey, why don't you come in here? And there, she's in my uh, my father and uh, his uh, wife's room with the covers just pulled up to her stomach. So her huge, ample tits were just pouring out over the top. And I was like, whoa, here comes some of that what they call fucking. <laughs> I didn't know. So I went in there and actually lasted longer than I should have. It was not a problem getting a, a, another rod, that's for sure. At that age with the, that. She did everything. Buzz sucked it. Buzz sucked it. And then Buzz asked me if I would like to do that to her. And, uh... And I said away. no. You ran away yelling for mommy. Dude, it was the 70s. Did you, uh... She had a bush on her. You need her ass? That was... I couldn't find her ass. <laughs> it was like a fucking jungle. Ugh. Did you poke her... <laughs> did you poke her in the stink knuckle? <laughs> yeah, you drop your... You drop your little, little bit of boy batter on your stink knuckle. And all of a sudden, you got potato flakes in your hair, and you're going, hey, what's what? <laughs> <laughs> you got a paper on down there, the dark brown starfish. <laughs> <laughs> that she stuck on your corn on the cob. Yeah. <laughs> <Fuck it. laughs> yeah, she popped your corn pipe in her mouth and dropped down on the stink knuckle. All of a sudden, you got a bunch, bunch of fruit loops all over the floor. You're looking at it like, what's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> How about your leather Cheerio? Did you play with your leather Cheerio? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> she's knuckled deep in your leather Cheerio. <laughs> and she's got the toothless mouth you ordered, but you're going to drop potato flakes all over your socks. <laughs> <laughs> Baby oh, batter. <laughs> Baby batter. Uh, the stink knuckle. Oh, the, oh, he's got a million of them. Got a million of them, doesn't he? <laughs> he's the greatest. Man. You got the little man in the bow looking up at you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, am I gonna take my am I gonna take my fingers and put them in her stink pocket? <laughs> <laughs> right in her sewer pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he uses taco. His, her dirty yeah, taco. Hey, the dirty taco. Her dirty taco. Hey, then the, the bearded <laughs> clam and the. Yeah, we know what it is. <laughs> Jesus. That thing was a fucking Rip Van Winkle clam she had. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it was, you know. Looked like one of those. Uh, with a, a bunch of seaweeds there. still stuck to yeah, her. She was like 19, so. Yeah. She had ample hair down there. All right. Here's the uh, the story to bring it back to, to oh, radio. Oh, right. This is a good one. At Sickles High School, all the talk is about one thing. There's a picture Tense. of, you know, a girl in the club pages. The picture is of a student with what some are saying are her private parts showing, and it's published in the school yearbook. <laughs> what? Where is this? Come on. Could you find that, Dan? She's sitting on a... It's like a, an assembly picture You've almost. You've seen it? Yes, but it was blocked out. But you can't... I don't know if you can see the box or not. But she's sitting there with her legs parted a little bit. She's just not doing it on purpose. The camera just happened to catch her hooch, I think. Your book. I think that... She's probably, like, really horrified. She oh, sure is. Great. I caught up with the 16-year-old and her mother, Jeanette. The young girl admits she did not wear underwear that day, oh, but because oh she... God. All right, hold on. Let's just fucking dwell on that for a second, please. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh, a moment of silence for that. <laughs> wow. All right. She wasn't wearing... She admits that she, she wear wasn't wearing that underwear with a little skirt. Holy fuck. Was she wearing a skirt or was it up the shorts it leg shot? It was a skirt. It was a skirt. Yeah. I gotta, you dirty girl. I got to speak for the older guys out there. Where were these girls dirty when we girl. were growing up? Is they that were... the picture, Dan? It's, blo it's blurred out. Well, get the it's unblurred blurred version, out. Dan. Wait, what were you about oh to say? Oh, my God. You, you didn't have girls like this growing up. Oh, yeah, we had, we had some. Oh, fucking no. We had some really sexy ones, man. How do you see it? Because, like, her legs, her knees are touching. Yeah, you probably see a little, like, She's, uh, you know. I'm squinting to try to see how do we get it not blurred? Oh, yeah. that's right. It's child pornography. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just a picture no. of a girl in high school. You're allowed, you're allowed to show an Are open you? vagina. All right, federal yeah. agent Jim Norton. <laughs> Believe me, I know the ins and outs. <laughs> Ted FBI in studio. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it's, yes. <laughs> it's not considered child pornography if they're smiling. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Not wear underwear that day, but because she did not want her pants. You want me to keep playing that part for you? Yeah. How many times you need to hear it? Twenty. Twenty. <laughs> I just want to oh, hear it. Why didn't she want the underwear? She said her, she wanted a panty yeah, line. Yeah, there showing? was a reason. I think that she's probably like really horrified. She sure is. I caught up with the 16-year-old and her mother, Jeanette. The young girl admits she did not wear underwear that day, but because she did not want her panty lines to show. But this is not something you wanted to do on purpose. No, absolutely not. It's 
ridiculously embarrassing. Ah. She found out about the photo when seniors got their yearbooks on Monday. She has not been back to school since. I started crying. I was freaking out. I didn't know what I was going to do because this is my junior year. It's so important, and I didn't think I'd be able to go back to school. Oh, shut up. Just oh, go boy. back. Her senior year is going to be a pisser. Like, people aren't going to just copy that and, and put it all over the walls. Yeah. Her We're, fucking roast beef sandwich yeah. showing. <laughs> Who's coming? It's Lips McGrady. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you can't see anything, though. I know it's blurred uh, it out. It's blurred but out, so. Her, her legs look like they're pretty much together, no? Yeah, her knees look, were like touching, so how much yeah. can you. Maybe you can see a little bush. And as a mom, I. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Unkempt. Yeah. McGrady, she's doing somersaults. Here's the second part of the high school. Uh, uh, uh-huh. Story about the upskirt shot of yeah. a 16 year old student with no underwear mm. in the yearbook, my friends. Yeah. And as a mom, I, I wasn't going to make her. Mom Jeanette wants the school to stop handing out the yearbooks, collect the ones that have gone out, and reprint them without this photo. Oh. Hillsborough County School District spokesperson told me the picture is not revealing at all. We don't believe that there is an exposure in the yearbook. It's a shadow. Is it a shadow? Is it not a shadow? Uh-huh. My point is, you know what? It Really? Well, ask the chick if she shaves or not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was it a shadow or did you have two slugs in your lap? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a, just a, a shot. Her knees are too close together. There are times where you see an upskirt shot where it's absolutely panties, mm-hmm. but it looks like it could be bush. Right. Um, so why don't we get the original photo? I don't know. It's kind of hard to find. We're the media, though. You know what it is, too? If they collect all these yearbooks from people, it won't matter. People have scanned it already. Of I'm course, because sure. it's become the thing. See, but this is something that another instance of where the fuck is it? Like, oh, my God, everyone's going to see this. It's out everywhere. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Camo. Christ. Camo. Holy shit. Camo. It's like, where is it? What do you mean? Where's the picture? If it's so, so out there and, oh, my God, it should be everywhere. Oh, well, that's the guy with his balls hanging out with the queen sitting next to him. Are you kidding, right? <laughs> no. No, that's a real picture. I remember this. This was pretty fucking funny. Man. Yeah, there's a, <laughs> Where's the guy? I haven't a seen soldier. Picture. They're wearing purpose? kilts. Yeah, he spread his fucking legs apart. Do you think he did it on purpose? Oh, oh hells oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Look at this fucking dick. <laughs> look at the smile, of that's course. That's photoshopped. No, no, look at this guy's smile. No. He knew what he was doing. He's like pulling up his. <laughs> you Why think, would you do that, though? You think he fluffed it up a little bit to make sure it presented <laughs> correctly? His picture. fucking withered English cock, <laughs> Scottish dick, whatever the fuck it is. Dan, how how do they play along at home? See, when we get the Opie and Anthony website popped up again, yeah, then we, we'll, we'll have this up there for everybody. And hopefully there's going to be a little uh, featurette on that site where it's uh, everything that I've Googled throughout the day. Yeah, it's smart. So you can just click it and Dan, it'll bring you know it to what the we'll search call results. Danny's Googles of the day or something. <laughs> I how like how do they find that picture, though, that you just showed us? Um, you're going to have to give me a second because I was looking for something else. Oh, so all right. So I don't want to confuse everyone. Here's more about the chick with uh, her uh, snatch showing in the yearbook. Mm. So, my point is, you know what? It really doesn't matter. The, the, the photo in itself is damaging to a 16-year-old and should not have been published. Um, all the administrators are trying to downplay it. They're saying um, that I really should just come back to school and laugh it off, but it's not oh. funny. It's like I've been humiliated. Oh, shut up. I guarantee there's a lawsuit. Oh, that sounds like lawsuits set up right guaranteed. there. Guaranteed. Oh, we need to see the original picture. Uh, how, you get the, uh, the the guy showing his if balls you next see, uh, to the queen? <laughs> The queen and the man with his balls hanging out. Yes. Google image queen space balls. <laughs> really? That's easy. That's it. Make sure queen that you're, uh, space balls. Yeah, he goes sure to Foundry you're... Music. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> just make sure that your safe search preferences are off. Queen, <laughs> queen balls. Yes. Uh, I I hate that you have to keep resetting every time you that, that they have a safe search. What the fuck? It's so annoying. Let's yeah, say hi to Samson in Jersey. Samson. Yeah, man. This girl would be crying her eyes out if she didn't do it purposely. She's just trying to cover her ass right now with mom on the corner and it blowing up bigger than she wanted it to be. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I I, I think girls know they're going to school without panties on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, of course. they crossed their legs for years. We've been trying to look, and they're, they're on that like a magnet on a refrigerator. It's fucking insane. Oh. She definitely knew it was there. There you go. I'm not going to let you get away with the magnet on a refrigerator. <laughs> They're on that like. All right. Exactly. Something that sticks. <laughs> like what? White's not on rice. That's the color of it. I know. I, I liked it, Samson. I didn't. <laughs> no Thank you, itchy. sir.
Let's go to Cherry Hill. Say hi to Brian. 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 Cherry Hill. You. Well, well, that's what Danny's looking for now, so let's not tie it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, Sorry. Uh, we're going to give Brian some air time. We might have found the picture. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Uh, whispering to Travis? What's the problem? What did Travis not do? Oh, he's oh gone. no. Travis he's messed gone. up again? No. I wanted to ask him because he just gave a, a very broad uh, very vague, description uh, of where this website. might be. Website. Maybe you could search it. So yeah. you check on uh, Internet Explorer. God, everyone else has seen the picture except us. Eh? I know. Everyone's saying it's obviously a shadow. Too much thigh. Well, what the fuck? Language. All right, I'll get. I'll read this off to you. I, 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 I got the URL, but it's oh, really long and stuff. Oh Christ. HTTP <laughs> uh, 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 W W W. First, you got a colon backslash backslash, <laughs> and then www <laughs> dot. That's when I know I'm listening to an old segment oh. of the Opie and Anthony show. When for old people, they say that. Well, yeah, but uh, when we used to give out websites, we were guilty of the www dot dot HTTP. Uh, Danny, boy, you sure are having a hard time. Danny, this I is got, challenging well, Danny. I found a post that's related, but uh, it just brings you to the news nope. story. I don't want to watch nope. the news story nope. about it. I want to see the nope. actual uncensored picture. Can you get in some feedback over there? Because yeah, uh, they're image shacking the shit out of it. Yeah, little think. image shacking All right, going on. All right. Yeah, copy, paste, copy, yeah, paste. there you go. Or click little, on the fucking... Uh, I trust... There we go. I trust Good Evening from New York City. Uh, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Um, let's go with that? Good Evening's uh, link. Got it? Uh-oh. We got to see this. Here it comes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, let's enlarge that Good evening, a bit. rules. Good evening. Good evening, rules. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rules. Let's see. Oh, oh, man. That's man. no shadow. Get the fuck out. Is it like singing opera? Dude, you could see a definite slit. No. Yes. Yeah. You can't see a slit. You can see, um, I think you can see like a little hair. A little yeah, hole. it's a tuft. But no, you back that off a little bit. You can see like a little top of the pubes. Dude, that, uh, I could see slit. Wow, wait, what's the hole? I know what the hole is, but that's... Like- <laughs> what's the hole? It's called <laughs> no, no, a vagina, no. Opie. No, you idiot. <laughs> Look at, but like that. That's hair. That's not like a hole. A tuft, that's not hair. There's a yeah, tuft of hair that's, right at the, that's the top that looks- of the, where the crease starts. Sometimes it's like dimpled. But it looks like, and she's got like. All right, where's the slit then? The slit, you, I could see a line going below down the hole, from the below hole. Below the weird hole, down, looking yes, thing? yes. There is shadowing, but it's in her on her thigh area. But you can absolutely see her pussy. Oh my god, that is a, in that picture. That is a weird shot. I want to actually see. Why it are in- her thighs go? If her knees are touching, why are I, her thighs going in so much? I don't know. Like out so much, so you can actually see that. I'm wondering if that's um, shopped. You think oh, really? So? All right, let's go with another guy's know. version of it. Done. Let's take a look. Let's take another Try look. Try to get your legs to do that. I can't. No. All your right. Thighs touched together. She, she, she doesn't have any thighs. Go to Booger Couch. Let's see if make sure that guy didn't like. Yeah. Go Booger to some couch. Photoshop. I don't like the way Good Evening was just throwing away like well, yesterday's I'm not, news. Well, I'm still. Well, I'm still with Good Evening. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're gonna have to compare. Back with, it up. This has to be confirmed. It's a different image shack. Needs to be confirmed. Uh Uh Okay. All right, Booger Couch. There's Booger. There's Booger Couch. All right. Looks like it's all the same one, actually. Oh, really? It didn't look like the same one when I was looking. Uh, Four three three. It's a little different. Same, well, same, same shot. Like the same shot. All right. How, yeah, uh, how are her fucking know. knees touching? Her knees are touching, yet her thighs are open enough. Her yeah. ankles and knees are touching, and her her thighs are open enough to still see. Because it's a young girl, she doesn't have the cellulite yet. Maybe she does have juicy so, fat thighs, so and it's not you can't it see all it. Down and getting in the way of everything. You can't see fucking. Hey, why are you sitting like a girl? Because I'm trying to figure this out. <laughs> I have my ankles together and my knees, and I'm touching my pussy. It's her thighs. <laughs> go go to it again. You're not seeing. Here's what you're seeing: over her chubby thigh. I bet her thighs are together. She, you know what? She, I don't, she might be sitting like on an angle, like an angle toward the floor, and that's why. You know what I mean? I'll tell you how you do that. 
Her thighs are touching. You just can't see that her thighs are touching in there. People she has are, chubby legs. Jim in Jersey, he wants to know if, she's, if she has a landing strip. That, that's the weird whole thing I'm talking about. There's like this. Oh, wait a second. I think I see it. I think this uh, is an optical illusion. All right, Dan. Honestly. Yeah, that's why because I want to go the, back to that whole uh, thing. Now that's the, not, now that's the not the opening of her vagina. No, I'm now, telling you. Now I'm on the side of the school because I think that that triangle that's being. Uh, the shadow of the, the shadow of the skirt. top of her skirt. Right. And okay. her thighs are actually touching, and that's yeah. producing that line in the middle. You are absolutely right. That is a shadow See, of the top of her thigh. skirt. This is still her thigh. It's still this her thigh. This is thighs. still her thigh. And that shadow is being caused by the top of the skirt. So it makes yeah. it look like the crease of her her uh, crotch area, but it's actually just a shadow. Yep. And the rest of it, if you follow it up, is just her thighs touching I together. I don't see it that way. Yeah, I, I, I do. definitely see it you that way. You see it that now. way too, There's Jimmy? no way her thighs open like that. And here's why look at the shadow of her legs. It's straight down. Mm -hmm. There's there's uh, little shadows on either side of her thighs on the bench that are going straight down. So the shadow from the top of her dress would also go straight down. That's what that is. Her thighs are touching. That is not see what it is. Is that this is Black Dog Man, and that's the grassy knoll. Yes, exactly. (laughs) It's that, but it's that hole in the middle there that is causing all the uh, hullabaloo. But that is because people are thinking that's her private touching together part opening. You can't. Sit like that. It's, no, it's, it's yeah. your legs would be maybe yeah, but, swivel yeah, hips. Oh, 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 crazy hips. Oh, crazy that. hips could sit like that. But if she stood up with her legs like that, she would look bizarre. She'd be knock kneed with her hips like two feet too wide. I understand what you guys are saying, but I don't know. No, that's I can see it now. I I'm I, I see. To see it. There's no it's her thighs. Look at it long enough, you see a ship. You gotta <laughs> stare though and look beyond the picture. <laughs> Those long. things stunk. What's that? Look long enough, you see nothing but goodness. All right, I could definitely see what that is. You're you're right, nope. but I don't know. It totally man. looks like it could. For kids is going that, to school, I would be like, dude, it's a pussy. Uh, is that is, I is that, that a, now? That's a yeah. sucks to be you right there. <laughs> that's a sucks to be you. Just one it of just those you things. know. Sorry. <laughs> hey, you want a, a terrific story about a grandfather that's in New Jersey? That's terrific. That's terrific. This is one of those. What are you thinking? Grandfather in Jersey. This oh, no. it's this Maybe. old gag. It's 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 in it's in the category of this old gag. All right. Police call Thomas Elgert the he worst choked. of the worst. <laughs> they say the 66-year-old <laughs> grandfather spent months Ow. preying on children, collecting naked pictures of them, and right. trading them with sex offenders Got on him. the internet. Need him. Need him. These Got are him. children. They are defenseless. They are, they are involved in this through no choice of their own. We know that. Undercover federal agents busted Elgert by posing online as child molesters. In charging documents, agents accuse Elgert of stomach-turning actions, saying at one point he asked an undercover detective to send him pictures of the detective having sex with his two young children and the family pet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the pet? Why? So, it's wow. A, it's a full flood. It's a... Uh, <laughs> it's, I, a it's a poo. Uh, the yeah. canopy is off. Oh, you look like that guy in the in the <laughs> paper today <laughs> ejecting out of his Harrier. <laughs> yeah, I sort of got out in time. Yeah, that's sort of. terrible. Oh, oh Uncle horrible. Paul. That's terrible. I bet you think it's terrible. <laughs> yeah, the way they go in there and they lie and they, <laughs> they pretend to be who they're not. Those damn agents ought to be arrested. Yeah, they're, they're pulling shenanigans. Yeah, that ain't legal. Getting somebody all worked up like that and then yeah. ruining their day. <laughs> they shouldn't judge. What kind of pet did he have? They didn't even say. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it matters. Sure it does. If it was Probably the dog. Labrador retriever. Those dogs are good for that. I would say it's probably a dog. Yeah. yeah. As long as it ain't a fish. <laughs> you can't fuck fish. Yeah. Because cats aren't as cooperative. They're, no, they're, they're not. The ass. Some, I bet that's scratching tried. at your balls and stuff. You're just trying to have a little fun. No, when you declaw them, <laughs> yeah. and then they do that it's little mushy thing everything. on your balls. <laughs> oh, the mushy good. thing. <laughs> you know, they dig their little paws in there, and you go, ooh. Yeah, oh, Uncle oh, Paul's Jesus. disgusting. They got the rough tongues. <laughs> We used to call it making biscuits. <laughs> oh, look, the cat's making biscuits. Oh, kneading the dough like yeah. that? Yeah. He's making biscuits. Mm. Sure. Sure. Uncle Paul needs to be put <laughs> put away. <laughs> how how horny do you need to get, by the way? You got the kids, and, and he's the asking pet. for Bring the a, pet, a, in a too. pet, too. Jesus. Oof. You think anyone's tried to fuck fish? 
Like, I think anybody's trying. Some, sure. Someone out there is probably trying to fuck anything. Really? Oh, I thought you meant Abe Vigoda. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean fish used as a fucking device. We've seen that. Thank you, Danny. Danny just punched up a picture of a girl using a trout on another girl. My bad. Well, you know. Yes, the picture is just called redundancy. <laughs> Yeah, the uh, I'm sure there's probably been like you know the blowfish, let's say, has been used for that purpose. Guy sticking his wiener what, in a fish. What fish would be the best fish? Um, I wide mouth f- bass. Probably a tuna because they're big and fat. I remember yeah. from my uh, fishing days, the bunker. They they were they had a big mouth with yeah, no big teeth. Mouth. The teeth weren't. Uh, You're like a grouper. A problem. A big Maybe grouper. A grouper. Yeah, a grouper would be good fucking. Blo- Not really because they look sad. <laughs> You, you just look at because you're constantly getting the fish eye from them. Right. No emotion, so you don't know if the fish is having a good time. Oh, that'd be so effing creepy. I think a nurse shark. I want to fuck a nurse <laughs> shark. <laughs> I don't just, think that would be wise. Just hold it down. They're so harmless. Oh, that's true. They are just big and lumbering. All right, here's the second half of the grandfather story. <laughs> Within a one mile radius of Elgert's home, there are at least two schools, and the neighborhood is full of young children. Ooh. It's not unbelievable. It's, it's, it's frightening. It's really scary. Investigators took bags and boxes of evidence from Elgert's home. They believe he may have molested children as well and are urging anyone who may have had close contact with him to come forward. You know, when you see the authorities coming out of a home with bags and boxes, it, there's never any good stuff in those no, bags and no, boxes. No, it's, it's, Yeah, they come out with a big paper bag sealed up with the red evidence tape yeah, on it. No, it's, like, no, that isn't just something. That's, you that's know, not someone's lunch. Toaster oven. Unless, of course, it was used to bludgeon somebody. <laughs> Hey, you don't think they can track who he was emailing, do you? Uh, probably, once they got the computers. And... I know. <laughs> <laughs> look, they give it a good look. I hope they don't figure nothing out. Ah, there it is. Uh, Danny found it. You found it? There's a gentleman fucking what looks to be a fluke. <laughs> you know? What the fuck? What do the fish do? The, the fish, fish is just like, oh, the fish oh, it's is blowing him. Oh, yeah. Oh, he ought to get one of those catfish you get from noodling. Oh, wow. Ow. That's balls. Yeah, put your penis. That's a video that would get a lot of hits. And she, the Do girl behind him penis. has an eel. So apparently she's been using that. You know how awful a fish mouth must feel in your dick? Yeah, it's too, like, bony. Little teeth in there. It's got to feel the same way your grandmother would feel. Oh, <laughs> God. Just thin <laughs> lips. I know. Thin, gums, dried up, hard bony lips. gums. And... Except it would smell better and have more interesting conversations. <laughs> You ever look at an old old lady's lips and go, oh, my God, that's what her pussy looks like? Ah, Anybody? I'm the only one? No. John in Jersey, what's up? Hey, boys. Hey. Hey, a couple of years ago down in SeaWorld, somebody was caught in the tank banging one of the killer whales. Yes. And the way they found it was because he wound up dead the next yeah. morning. Yeah, he was dead. And they actually what was think he? What? he was fucking the blowhole. You're kidding. Oh he was fucking God. the whale's blowhole. And they think that the whale, because he drowned, they think the whale closed up his blowhole and dragged him underwater by his dick. Because they do that. They close up the blowhole when they dive. Give you a nice tight feel, right? Nice tight. He nice. probably was like, oh, if I could come before I die, this is going to be great. <laughs> but um, And then the, the, the killer whale yeah. was dead, too? No, no. The no, whale was alive. The whale wasn't dead. That was the whale Sorry, we talked about called Till I Come. Oh, right. Can you find like, that story? Til- it was a weird name for a whale that was being fucked, Tillicum. Yeah, we'll find that story. Thank you, John. All right. Watch it up, boys. Uh, thanks, yeah. No one feels bad no for that guy. No. no one no. on earth feels bad for that Not guy. Not one person, even his family. I'm a big fan when the animals, uh, you know, get one. Oh, they got, he got back. I'm, I'm a big fan You're when the animals me. win. You fucking me? Do they have to kill the killer whale for, for like, protecting him, no. himself from being fucked in his blowhole? A... No, twisted he was sexually fucks assaulted. that we are, huh? He was sexually assaulted. He's the victim. Yeah, but they, they don't. Whale. They don't usually see it that way. Animal kills human. Animal has to die no matter what. That's the equation every single time. Did they kill the animal that uh, was fucking that guy? They kill that horse that fucked the guy to death. I, I, I don't know. No, they uh, the stallion. They um, they get made of the eunuch. They made of the gelding. So thing. other people couldn't go and fuck it. Wait, by the way, any any fucking uh, horse fans in this room? I'm not a big horse fan guy, but did you see what happened? What was it? The Belmont? Or the, uh, the no, the other one. The Preakness? The Preakness. A Philly won it? Oh, yeah? 
Phillies don't win these races. Another. Uh, did you? Did anybody? Wait a minute. There was. You didn't watch the race. What the 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 horse that won the Kentucky Derby? What's his name again? Mind. Yeah, that. Mind fish bird. Oh boy, this is like a Dr. Kaku thing Something. happening right here Dr. in front of our Kaku. eyes. What, Danny? Travis is saying it's mine that bird. Yeah, mine that bird yeah. wins the Kentucky Derby. They're thinking he's going to do pretty well at the Preakness, right? The the rider who who uh, who um, uh, uh, rode mine that bird says, "Fuck that! This filly that came out of nowhere, I'm riding this motherfucker," and wins with the filly. Wow! It was a big story in the horse uh, in the horse world. I didn't even know the Preakness was on. Yeah, it was Sunday or Saturday, whatever. Oh. You didn't see the race? No, I would have bet on it. Any big winner? Like, what were I th- the odds? I think the Philly, uh, was it like a 9-5 to five or something? No, that's not like the, I mean, even though the horse sort of came out of nowhere, everyone was like, this is a special horse. Yeah, and they were probably betting the jockey, too. And the jockey even knew because he's like, you know, yeah, I could be riding a triple crown r- winner, but the, but you know what? This Philly horse is, they, he said something like uh, something very special. Oh, I bet. Where's our horse fan? Stump Give me a broke, call. was it? Huh? <laughs> was it stump broke? <laughs> that's where you could back it up to a stump and stand on the stump. For height and fuck it, they call it being stump broke. <laughs> you got the killer whale story. Can we re uh, reread that one? I love that. It's a fun little story of a. I can't see it. I was hoping for Far a little away. more, a little more horse talk, but I don't think it's going anywhere. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see the race. I didn't hear about it in the news either. Not a real big, uh, big story, I guess, unless it's. First time a Philly won the Preakness since uh, in eighty four years, Ant. That's Booby Man in Brooklyn. He's oh. solid with his info. That's I mean that is a huge story that a is barely uh, being touched in the sports world. Phillies don't win these races. No, they just don't. Oh, congratulations to you, horse with a twat, yeah, lesbian <laughs> horse, <laughs> dikey <laughs> horse with a mullet. <laughs> Uh, the Philly is well known. Ran the day before the Kentucky Derby and won by twenty lengths. Wow! The Philly went off at two to one. There's the Sea World dead guy story. Yeah, right? You got it. Go ahead. Finally. Wow, this is almost ten years old. This story now. Wow! We did it at NEW when it yeah. came out too. Twenty-seven year old Miami man died after what police think was an attempt to swim with the whales. Mm. Tuesday morning, a park employee found the man's body naked, draped just below the dorsal fin of the park's largest whale, an 11,000-pound male named Tillicum. A male. Uh, it was the second time Tillicum had been linked to a death of a human. Oh. But uh, they were saying he was appeared uh, he appeared to have either drowned or died of hypothermia in the 50-degree water. But obviously, if I mean, how, how did he not get dragged down there by the, the whale? It was obvious that... Yeah. They're just not reporting it the way that everybody knows yeah, it happened. Exactly. 50, they keep that water 50 degrees. You don't realize that. That's some cold fucking water for that yeah. whale. And you jump in there thinking you're going to have fun. Like, yeah. like Spock in, uh, in that uh, Star Trek with the whales. <laughs> Amazing. And you freeze to death. You can't get a rod in 50 degree water, How can you? can you? you? I think the part that would throw me would be the fucking whale. <laughs> yeah, probably the whale more so than the, five, the temperature The 11-ton the animal. With the uh, the hole in the top of its head that I was trying to fuck that smells like fish while the whale swims around confused. What does he? What, what do I have to do while he does this? Should I make what? He's making that whale noise saying, get off me. Ooh, yeah. He's lonely. Really fast before we, we get Cat in here, there's a, a story I just want to play. Just a dummy. It's quick. We'll comment about it and then we'll get uh, Cat Von D in here. you got to listen to this idiot. A Wisconsin man spends a night in a local jail after trying to make contact with a 14-year-old Terre Haute girl on school grounds. Oops. Police arrested this man, 20-year-old Alex Edwards, yesterday. He drove down to see a 14-year-old Terre Haute girl. Police say the two of them have, had, have been having some type of relationship since April of last year. Edwards admitted to police of having sex with the girl back in August. Do you think there is a big age difference between the two of you? There's a little bit of one, but it's, it's like the same as like a 20-year-old and a 26-year-old almost. Edwards remained in the Vigo County Jail tonight with a $75,000 bond, no 10%. He faces charges of sexual misconduct with a minor. Edwards will be back in court Monday. Jesus, no 10%. They really oh, wow. said fuck you. How old was uh, she? And 20 she's 14? 20 and 14. And he's 20? Yeah. 
going on school grounds, and I think he... He proposed, proposed yeah, he went, to her. He went to her middle school to propose. Yeah. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's romantic. <laughs> right on a potato puff. She had a potato puff in one hand and a <laughs> wedding <laughs> ring. His, his uh, engagement ring in the other. Wait, that's getting into some. You don't have a problem with that? Um, no, I think I actually had one of those. Like, uh, <laughs> I was 20. I'm pretty sure she was 14. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, believe me. <laughs> She really didn't look 14. I'll give her that much. Is there a statute to statutory? And I didn't act 20, <laughs> that's for sure. Is there a statute to statutory? Uh, I didn't say I, you know, fucked her or anything. Mm. I did, but I didn't <laughs> say it. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. His quote, though, is great, though, because he goes, he goes, it's like, what if I was 26 and she, it's like if I was 26 and she was 20, yeah. and he goes, Almost. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. No, see, that's legal. <laughs> we did tease the teacher. She hands out a video to elementary school class. Accidentally includes something else in the video. What do you think was in that videotape? Um, probably porno. You get a sense after talking to parents here at Isabel Jackson Elementary that this woman in question was a good teacher who made what is being called a really dumb mistake. The you get a sense? Yeah. You get a sense, huh? Getting a sense. That means you're not completely sure. No. But people are saying. Sense. People are saying. Jesus. People are talking. Some people say. Ugh. Mistake. The video starts with a menu screen featuring various school trips and functions. When you click on one of them, you see kids in a classroom sharing stories. They start clapping, and then suddenly the video cuts to sex. Uh -huh. It goes from my son straight to her on the couch like this. This parent wasn't sure if the nude woman on the screen was his son's fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Del Fonte. My son's reaction oh, no. was, Dad, is that Miss Del Fonte? It turned out to be Mrs. Del Fonte, a fifth grade oh. teacher at Isabel Jackson Elementary in Sacramento. Zoiks. Oh I, know, boy. I, I know you don't want to have kids and all that, Aunt, but let's say this happened to your kid. Would yeah. you be that fucking what outraged? Grade, what grade is it? Fifth grade. Nah, no, not by fifth. Why don't you just sit down, you just sit your kid down and go, look. Kindergarten? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> is there going to be outrage in the story? Probably, yeah, right? That's Come definitely on. outrage. The father in our story says that the day after his kid got the DVD, the teacher called their home the next morning, crying hysterically, profusely apologizing, saying it was all an accident, and asking for their help in calling other parents to stop their kids from seeing the DVD, too. She didn't intend for this to happen. It, it's felony stupid, but it's not a crime. Legal expert Ken Rosenfeld says the teacher could lose her job, but it's unlikely. Is it something that she should be disciplined for? Certainly, but lose her career over? She didn't intend for this to happen. This father doesn't care if the teacher keeps her job or not. He'd just like some help from the school. Maybe offer some sort of counseling for my children, ask how oh. my children are doing. I want somebody to ask me what kind of questions my kids are asking me. How about you fucking sit your kid down and do your own counseling? You, you can work your way through this one. Relax. Come on. I ain't doing no extra. No. I, we end when we end. Enough with the rules. We do our rules. show. Rules. I hate the rules. Stupid rules. Offer my kid counseling. No. What, you, you can't talk to your kid about what he saw? What, do you need a professional fucking uh, 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 stupid school shrink? Because there's just a complete panic out there. Relax. Now. God. You're being over safe with everything. You can't sit down and talk, your, talk uh, this out with your kid within, like, minutes, by the way. Minutes? Yeah. Minutes. I'll be out playing with paper airplanes. You'll be, you'll be sitting there, oh, he's, he's disturbed. No, look, he's it, fine. It's the clueless parents that don't think uh, their, you know, fifth grader knows this shit yet. Exactly. Fifth grader has their computer upstairs, um, most likely, you know, on that computer while you're downstairs watching a dumb movie. You, you don't he think knows. they're taking a peek here and there? He knows a fifth what it grader? Looks like. Of course they are. He knows what it looks What does a fifth grader find hot, Bush though? looks like. Um, poopy shots? I think heinies. Heine? Heine shots? Heinies. Not bent over like, you know, you know all the goodness in there. No, I Just likes crack and cheeks. No, I think, th I think they've entered the world of the boob, too. Uh, yeah, boobies, fifth too. Fifth grade. Boobies and heinies.
Yeah. That's what you like. Not wide open grade. slits. Not no, yet. no, that's scary. That's about seventh child. grade, right? Oh, that's frightening. Yeah, seventh <laughs> grade. You'll start going, I could go for that. But boobies and heinies are uh, for fifth graders. <laughs> wide open slits. Oh, frightening. End of end of sixth grade, maybe. Scary. End of sixth grade. That, that first fucking beard hair pops Those in. Those were so scary to look <laughs> oh, yeah, at. yeah, they were. When I was uh, a kid. Is that uh, the film yeah. of her? With, oh, we got the actual they, film? Could they pixelate any more? They start clapping, and then suddenly the video cuts to sex. All right. All right. I'm yeah, not good at... Squint. Squint. Yeah, I'm not I, good at pixelating. All right. If, so if, what if are we looking squint, at, Dan? I'm squinting. like uh, I, she's on the couch. I see couch. Hold on. You, if you squint, you can see better, but it's really hard to squint. There's a plant in the back. What the fuck is... Wait. Did you guys Sometimes, hear that noise, or is that just me no, with a new thought coming? That's oh. just you. <laughs> All right, wait. If you go right, way back, on. too. What the fuck are we looking at? I think... Do I see ass, cheek, and leg? It's her leaning back on the couch. Oh, and oh. The leg up in the... See the leg up in the air? Le is that a leg? That's a head right there. That See that's that? That's her head? That's the head. Where's her oh. pussy? Oh, probably, her pussy's right... Probably a hand. No, no, no. no. Right, right, right. She's no, else alone. I can't even see... <laughs> Like a oh, Picasso no. painting. We're trying to figure this shit out. Completely. God damn, sharpen that up. <laughs> I don't know. My eyes hurt now. Yeah, no kidding. I tried to see the sailboat. <laughs> hey, remember that uh, website, uh, guesshermuff.blogspot.com? Yeah. This guy, Chris <laughs> Moneymaker from uh, Amarillo, writes... Chris Speaking of wide open slits, check out girl number 653. Oh, really? Give me six five three. Oh God. Um. All right, there she is. That's six five three. Mm -hmm. All right. Now you got to see her with her um, vagina. Yeah. So far, just a normal shot of her with a tongue piercing. What's uh? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. That's a nice badge. Yeah, it's a nice badge. Nothing wrong with that. It's very plump. Kind of looks like a heart. A little, uh, yeah. Anyone else see that nice heart not shape much, to it? Not much falling out of it? No. Uh, let's say hi to Danny in Atlanta. Danny. Hey, Pope. Um, we had a hard talk. Wouldn't your dad wanted counseling when you went running up an apple tree crying? Yeah, I was fucking scared. Right. You're no right. Counseling, no. though? No, no counseling? No, he wanted to talk to me about it. I had to come down eventually, and we talked. But my dad did the right thing. He didn't go f try to search out his stupid counselor. No. 